Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. Ah, good morning, honey. Good morning. How's your coffee? Oh, it's extra strong today. I'm going to need it. I didn't sleep very good last night. You didn't, honey? Why? I was just feeling, well, kind of sad. I mean, and happy at the same time, time of course. Yeah, I know what you're saying. I can't believe our baby actually graduates preschool today. Where have the last five years gone? Well, I know there was a lot of sleepless nights and a lot of poopy diapers. <laughs> I remember it like it was yesterday. I can't believe we're bringing our baby home. Oh, hi, baby Kira. Come on, honey, let's get inside. It's a little chilly out. I don't want the baby to catch a cold. You're right, honey. Let, let's go inside and... Just introduce her to her new house. Hi. Hi, sweetie. Baby, this is your new little house. Don't you love it? She's the cutest, isn't she, Dan? Uh -huh. What was that? Did, did you just fart? No. Did you just fart? Oh, that smells terrible. Uh, I think the baby had, uh, well, she pooped her diaper. Oh, already? We just brought her home. Yeah, but babies poop their diapers a lot, Dan. Oh, well, uh, you should change this one. How about you change it? No, you change it. Okay, I'll change it this time, sweet little girl. But tell your daddy he's got a lot of dirty diapers in his future. I do? Oh, man, not dirty diapers. Well, she is the cutest, so I guess I'll change dirty diapers. Dan, did you hear that? I think the baby's awake. Laura, baby Kira is sleeping soundly in her nursery. Everything's fine. Try to get some rest. Okay. Did you hear that? I, I, I think I heard her crying. Nope. Didn't hear anything. <coughs> Dan, I'm serious. I really hear the baby. Okay, yeah, that time I heard her too. I'll get her, honey. Thanks. I really haven't gotten a good night's sleep since she came home. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. <coughs> Daddy loves you. You are a sweet little girl. Oh, baby Kira. Shh, 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 shh. shh. Everything's going to be fine. Say dada. Say it again, baby Kira. Dada. Oh, her first word was dada. Oh, sweet little baby. Aw, I remember all of those memories like they were yesterday. Such precious times. I can't believe Daisy's going to miss her graduation today. I mean... She was always wanting to be there for baby Kira. I know, but her dance camp is super important. I mean, she's going to All Stars this year. I know. I'm just sad we can't all be together. Well, at least Molly can come along. Yeah, that's true. Come on, we better go get the girls up. We don't want to be late for the graduation. Welcome parents, friends, and family to the 2023 preschool graduation. I'm sure you're all so proud of your very own student graduating from preschool and going to kindergarten. What a special day. I cannot wait to hand each child a diploma. They all did so amazing this year. And I know they'll go on to do big, beautiful things. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. Okay, I might cry. Oh, my baby is graduating preschool. I'm getting everything on film. I want to remember this forever and ever and ever. Baby Kira, baby Kira, quit picking your nose. Ay, ay, ay. Preschoolers. They are so gross. Maria Lucas, please come up onto the stage. Oh boy, I can't believe it. I get to go to kindergarten. That's right, sweetie. Congratulations. Luke Gramber. Luke Gramber, you're next. Congratulations, sweetie. Thank you. My mommy's in the audience. Oh, I bet she's so proud of you. And my grandma and grandpa are 
here too. That's amazing. <laughs> I bet they're taking pictures of you right now, sweetie. Next, we have Kira Acker. Kira Acker. Come on, sweetie, come get your diploma. I'm so proud because I got a diploma. I can't believe she's graduating preschool. I'm going to blink and next thing I know, she's going to be driving a car, then getting married and, and having babies. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, time needs to slow down. Congratulations, baby Kira. I guess the nickname baby doesn't fit you anymore. And when you start kindergarten, you're going to have to let go of that pacifier. I can have my pacifier forever. <laughs> well, we'll see about that. <laughs> Congratulations, sweetie. Mom, you're still crying right now? I'm just so proud of her. <laughs> oh, she'll cry for a little bit longer. It's her baby after all. Congratulations, baby Kira. You're a big girl now. I am a big girl now. Yeah, but it's not all it's cracked up to be. Now you're going to have this most horrible thing called bam, bam, bam. Homework. What homework be? Homework be you having to do lots of schoolwork after school. Can you believe that? I mean, what are they trying to teach us in school? They don't have enough time in school to teach us everything we need to know. We got to do it at home too. Um, Molly, homework is good for you. I don't think so. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go home and cook out. We can have baby Kira's favorite foods to celebrate. I love that idea. Also, I'm not doing homework. <laughs> That's what I said. Then you get detention. Trust me, being a big kid's not it's all it's cracked up to be. Mm, these hot dogs are delicious, Dad. Oh, they were so tasty. Mm, I think I need about five more. Um, baby Kara, what did you think about graduating today? I love it. I'm not giving up my pacifier, though. Oh, well, honey, when you start kindergarten, you won't be a baby anymore, so you won't need your passy. I'm not giving it up, not ever. Whoa, <laughs> she's gonna be the only one at prom that's sucking on a pacifier. <laughs> Silly baby. Well, I guess she is still a baby till she starts kindergarten in the fall, so she can have her passy till then. Yeah, she'll be out driving a car when she's 16 and be like, I need my pacifier out of the glove box. Can you get that for me? <laughs> Oh, Molly, you're so silly. I know, I know, totally am. But I'm just saying, she's going to look ridiculous if she's almost a grown-up and still has a passy. Well, Molly, I think eventually baby Kira will decide to give up her passy. Don't wait, not ever. I love it. I did a Oh, yeah, really, baby Kira? I have no idea what you just said. Girls, it's time to do your chores. But, Mom, we're watching this amazing TV show. What? About a raccoon? Yeah, Mom, it's really interesting. This adorable raccoon is basically just hanging out, being lazy. Um, sounds a lot like you, girls. You both have chores, and you haven't done them yet. I did a blah, 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 blah. Yeah, my exact thoughts. Why doesn't baby Kira have to do chores? I'm not sure that's what she said, Miley. Yeah, I think it's what she said. I don't want to do chores. Well, but you girls need to help me. You're you're so grown up now. You, you can vacuum. You can do the dishes. Well, what does baby Kira have to do? She can just stay here and watch the raccoons on TV and, you know, not get anybody's way while we're vacuuming. But, Mom, I want to stay here and watch the adorable, lazy raccoon. I mean, look at him. He's at a wildlife shelter, just like recuperating. And, you know, he got injured. Someone, like, hit his foot with a car. And it's a crazy story, Mom. Oh, that's lovely, Molly. But right now, what I need you to do is vacuum the floor. I don't want to. Baby Kira doesn't have to. That's because she's a baby. And when you're a baby, you get away with everything. I did the bubba did the bubba did the why, yeah. Yeah, you are lucky, baby Kira. You get to chill out on the couch and watch a raccoon show. This isn't even fair. Sticky old chores. Ugh. Molly, could you switch with me? I, I need to do the vacuuming. What? No, I don't like doing the dishes. But I can't, Molly. I broke my wrist and remember? I'm not sure mom actually remembered. Because if she did, she'd probably have me doing the vacuuming and you doing the dishes. What? No, I hate doing the dishes. So that food stuck to the plates and then it gets under my fingernails. It's so gross. Molly, I have to vacuum because I, 
I can't get my cast wet. Ugh, fine. Ugh, I hate being so grown up. Stinky old dishes. Stinky, stinky, stinky. Well, this isn't so bad, I mean, I at least have one arm that I can vacuum with. <laughs> Molly, are you almost done doing the dishes? Yeah, seems like it took forever. Like, I'm pretty sure uh, it took me at least a year. That's a year of my life I can't get back, Mom. A year! Molly, you've been doing the dishes for 15 minutes. Now it's time to get your homework done. But, but, Mom, I just finished my chores! I know, growing up is so hard, isn't it, Molly? I can't have any more responsibilities! Oh, Molly, you're just getting used to being a grown-up, that's all. I'm not a grown-up. I know, but we start practicing when you're this age. No! Oh, my gosh, I don't, ah, don't want to do any more responsibilities. Daisy, help! I'm not in charge here, Molly. I can't help you. Well, at least I can do my work on the computer. I hate having to write things out with a pen. No one will be too upset if I just play Roblox for a little while, right? I mean, holy guacamole, all this responsibility. It's too much for me. It's too much. What? A new Roblox game? Costs 50 Robux to play. Wait a minute. How much do I have in my bank account? Zero dollars? That's okay. I'll ask mom for some money. Mom! Mom! Yes, Molly? Hmm, what am I going to make for dinner tonight? Mom, um, can, can I have some money? For what, dear? Are you done with your homework? Um, uh, well, I'm working on it. But anyway, there's something that I want a whole lot, and I've been doing my my responsibilities and um well what is it molly is it something for school of course i can help you pay for something if it's for school no it's so i can buy robux because there's this game on roblox i want to play and molly you have a job you have your own money now well uh don't tell me you spent all your money what could you possibly spend all your money on well um it all started when i can't believe that i'm the ice cream truck driver this must be the best job in the entire world. OMG, I love the ice cream truck. Can't wait to go inside and see what it's like. What? Ever since I got my driver's license, I'm like the most best dream job ever would be driving the ice cream truck and serving all this delicious ice cream. I wonder what it's like inside. And now I'm finding out. Look at this, chocolate, vanilla, birthday cake, bubble gum, and mint chocolate chip. Yes, delicious. All right, well, I guess I should be open for business. Yeah, this is the best job ever. The best job. Hello, can I get some service down here? Daisy? Yeah, I want an ice cream of five. They sound delicious. What you got up there? Oh, we've got everything delicious. What, what can I get for you? I'll have um, a scoop of birthday cake, please. Okay, one scoop of birthday cake coming up. I'm just gonna get a cone and then go over here, get the birthday cake. Mmm, this smells delicious. Oh, that's pretty good. Hey, you're not supposed to lick the customer's ice cream cone. That's disgusting. Well, I gave you two scoops, so that was too much. So I'm just gonna lick one, one of the scoops and then give you the other. Forget it. That sounds disgusting. Okay, well, I guess I'll just eat the whole thing then. And while I'm at it, mmm. Look at that chocolate. That looks good, too. Mmm. Oh, this chocolate one's good. Mmm. So good. Mmm. And, um, by the end of the day, I had eaten all the ice cream. Oops. And, well, uh, my boss sort of made me pay for all of the ice creams, and then they fired me. What? You lost your job already? You only worked one day, Molly. Well, that's why I don't have any money. So can I have some for Robux? Uh, no. And also, no! Now go do your homework. Oh, man! This stinks. Look at Baby Kira's still watching the adorable raccoon. That's it. I've decided I'm no longer going to be responsible. I don't want grown-up training. Grown-up training sounds awful. Doo-doo. Yucky. Miserable. Ugh. Molly, what are you doing? Why are you pulling out all those old baby clothes of ours? Because I've decided I'm going back to being a baby. What? What are you talking about? You're being crazy right now. Um, I'm not crazy. Here's the thing. Mom expects us to try to do this grown-up training where we have all these responsibilities. It's too much. 
I can't do homework and chores on the same night, especially when the rogue raccoon um, TV show is on. It's my favorite. Oh my gosh. My sister's having a nervous breakdown. Pretty much. I'm reverting. I'm going back to being a baby. Uh, Molly, I don't think this is going to work. Seriously. If you can't beat him, join him, Daisy. Here, I got a little onesie for you, too. <laughs> Molly, I remember that bunny ears hat. It's ridiculous. What? I think it's adorable. And ga 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 go 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 ba 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 Oh, yeah, you're just trying to be just like Baby Kiwa. Pretty much. Whoa, did you just take your brace off? You're not supposed to take your cast off. Well, for being a baby, I sort of have to. Okay, don't break your wrist again. Ugh, if it wasn't bad enough, you broke it the first time. We couldn't even go to Chuck E. Cheese because of that. Oh, yeah, not like it was, like, really awful for me or anything, Molly. Wee! Wee! What is that sound? Baby Kira, are you crying? Are you okay? I think I'm okay. And Molly and Daisy, your babies. What? What are you What are you talking about? Molly, Daisy, Daisy? Why are you dressed like babies? I don't know. I don't know. But I don't know. But I don't know. But girls, that's enough of that. Now, come on. I don't want to get any more responsibilities, so I'm not doing them. I'm a baby again. Too bad. Molly, you, Daisy, I, I, okay, I would expect this from Molly, but I would not expect this from you, Daisy. You like responsibilities. Well, everybody needs a break. You're working us too hard. Now, excuse me, I'm having a snack. <laughs> Looks like you have three babies now. And guess what, Mom? I just made a poo poo. You better not have Molly. You're not even wearing a diaper. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm not done yet. Oh my gosh. I want Baba. Oh my gosh, I'll get you a bottle. Just, just stop crying like that. Oh, I can't deal with three babies at once. It's like having triplets. Molly, it's actually working. I know. No responsibilities. And you and me, we get to watch the raccoon TV show. <laughs> Look at him. He's so adorable. Where's my bottle? I also want a donut. Molly, babies don't eat donuts. You have to just eat a bottle. I want a donut, though, too. Well, I don't really think you can. You're a baby. Daisy, I'm not really a baby. I'm just pretending to be a baby. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Mom. Mmm, this is going to be so delicious. <laughs> Ew, what is this? It's baby formula. Don't you remember how delicious baby formula is? No, ew, that gross. I don't like it. Molly, are you having a temper tantrum? That's it. Time for you to take a nap. What? I don't take naps anymore. No. <laughs> Naughty little baby. Ow, stop kicking me. You're kicking me! Molly, you... Uh, you want to act like a baby? Then you're going to be treated like one. Good night. No! I don't want to get in bed. I'm not doing it. Good night, Molly. Have a good nap. Oh, maybe being a baby isn't all that's cut out to me. This kind of stinks. Or maybe that's just the smell of my super dirty diaper. <laughs> I'm sneaking out of here. <laughs> She doesn't get to tell me what to do like a baby. Nah, 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 nah. I'm sneaking out. Oh, look, there's your back. It's turned. Okay. Molly, what are you doing? Hey, you're not dressed like a baby anymore. That's because being a baby isn't what it's cracked up to be. Mom, Molly snuck out. She thinks she doesn't have to do what you tell her. Well, first of all, whether you're a baby or not, I'm still your mom, so you have to do what I tell you to your actual grown-up. Second of all, since you want to be a baby, you're going to get treated like one. Time out, chair. Time out, chair! Oh, Molly, you're going to get in trouble. You shouldn't say bad words in baby talk. But, 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 but! No buts about it, Molly. Time out, chair. Ah! Very annoying for me, Molly. Are you done being a baby? No! 
I don't want to ever not be a baby because then I have to go back to having responsibilities. But also, this is kind of annoying too. I don't know what to do. Should I be a baby or should I not? Oh, well, Molly, if you can't beat him, join him. You might as well act like, well, your own age again. Ugh, I hate when my sister has a point. <laughs> Hi, Mr. M. Here's my girls all ready for daycare. Oh, good morning, girls. Uh, good morning, Mr. M. I am too old for daycare. Seriously, Mom. Molly, I have to go to work today, and I won't be home until late. I don't want you girls home alone. This will be fun. Mr. M is so cool. Okay, I'm going to type to Mr. M. Hi, Mr. M. Can I break my hamster to school? <laughs> I'm so glad you're going to be here with Mr. M. He's super cool. Yeah, I'm the teacher, and um, basically you're going to have lots of fun today. Well, I'm excited, Mr. Webb. I'm not. I don't want to go to daycare. She'll come around, Mr. M. Don't worry. Over here, we have the children's play area. Children's play area? This is where the babies go. Do I look like a baby, Mr. M? Um, well, uh, uh... I'm not a baby! Holy guacamole! This is where they do tummy time and can crawl around. So, I guess you're a little too old for this section of the daycare. Yeah, you're telling me. This place looks amazing. Maybe we should check in. Daisy, you don't work here. I'm gonna have a job here someday when I'm a total grown-up, you know. What do we have to do today? Mr. M, where are all the other kids? They'll be here soon enough, I promise. Okay, if you say so. Whoa! Okay, um, this is kind of cool. There's like a maze up here. An obstacle course. Wait, where's this go? I don't know if I want to go down there. Whoa! Whoa! It took me outside! See you later. Molly? Molly, where are you? Huh, <sighs> going out here where everybody else is hanging out. Why am I swimming? I don't know why I was just swimming. That was weird. Hey, what are you doing here? You're not in high school. Shouldn't you be in daycare? Me? But, but, but no, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a big kid. I don't need to be in daycare. Yes, you do. <laughs> You're not even in high school yet. Yeah, totally lame. Go back to daycare, baby. What? No! I can hang out with you guys. I don't need to be in daycare. I'm a big kid now. Molly, where are you? I can't even find you anywhere. Ugh, do you have to be hanging around with us? Don't you need to have your diaper changed or something? I'm not that little. Oh my gosh. I gotta go find someone else who like, let me hang out. You're too little to hang out with us. Bye. Oh man. But I'll just go hang out in the arcade. Molly? Oh my god. I can't believe I lost a student. Why can't I get into the arcade? Okay, perfect. Now I can play some games. Oh, look, it's that little baby loser again. What are you doing here? We should probably take her back to the to the daycare where she belongs. What? No, you can't take me back there. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Come back here, baby. I bet there's a reward for taking you back to the daycare. No, there's not. Oh, my gosh. Is there a reward out? Oh, a reward out for me? Molly, is that you? Molly? Oh, my God. I got to hide from Daisy. You won't see me. I'm inside the pole. That's too range. There's an arm and a leg coming out of the pole. I see you, baby. You can't hide in there. We're going to turn you in for the reward. What? No! I think you're a runaway from daycare. No, I'm not. I'm not a runaway. Don't tell Mr. M. Oh, she totally is a runaway. Oh, my gosh. Where is Mr. M? He's probably out looking for me. Oh, no, wait. He's talking to another student. They don't even miss me. Ugh, I'm going to carry you back into the daycare. Put me down right now. I don't want to go into the daycare. <laughs> You're even crying like a baby. Molly, what are you doing? Uh, apparently, I'm hopping like a bunny. Put my sister down. What are you doing? She belongs in daycare. Never. <laughs> She's my baby now. What? I'm nobody's baby. Oh, my gosh. Oh, why are you jumping around like that? It's going to make me throw up. She belongs in daycare. She already has a mom and a dad. Mr. M is 
I'm worried about her. Mr. Worm, somebody stole Molly! Mr. Worm! Oh my gosh, Mr. Worm can't hear me. I may need to go to the police. Daisy, hurry! She's she's taking me far away! Okay, Molly, I'll be right back! <laughs> you don't want to be in daycare. Well, maybe you can sit in time out. Wow, you're kind of a mean mom. And don't you think I'm kind of, be bi kind of big to be carried? I mean, look at me. I'm like hanging out of your arms. Ugh, did you make a dirty diaper? <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> I kind of farted. Ew, babies are gross. Okay, here's my house. And we're roommates, so yeah, try not to be annoying to my roommate. What? You brought that baby home? What were you thinking? Oh my gosh, let me out of here. Help! It's no use. We're stuck in here. Oh my gosh, there's a little toddler in here. What? What? What is going on here? We always wanted to adopt babies, so we did. You can't just go and steal babies from the daycare. We didn't. You were in the daycare where you were supposed to be, so we figured you needed a mom. I don't need a mom! Do you want my daughter? What? No, you take her. She's kind of obnoxious. I'll take the little boy. What? Are you? I don't want either one of you! I want my mom! My real mom! So, I guess you're gonna be my daughter now. Uh, no. Can you please let me out? Sorry. All the doors are locked. Oh, I hope Daisy called the police, but where would they even know I am? Okay, wait, maybe if I use this button or this button. OMG, I can't get out of here. So I have a son and you can be my daughter too. I already have a mom. Can I, okay, I'm just gonna type to her cause I really need to get out of here. Hi, Um, can you open the door? I want to play outside. <laughs> Mommy. <laughs> Can you open the door? I want to play outside, Mommy. Please. She's thinking about it. Are you going to be my daughter or not? Um, sure. Quit asking me, though. Just let me let me out, please. Let me out! Oh, my gosh. Do they have a phone where I can call the police? Go outside and play with your brother. Okay, but first you have to open the door. Open the door! She's rude. Maybe she needs a time out. Oh, my God. She opened the door! Run! Okay, I gotta tell the police that I'm at house number, um, um, 16! Where are you going? You can't just run away! Oh my god, I gotta run fast. I don't even know where I am right now. Okay, maybe if I head over here behind these trees, the police will know where to find me. Not really, I don't think they'll know. They won't know! Daisy! Okay, what's that? Oh wow, that's a really nice house. Where do you think you're going? Um, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just, I'm just hanging out over here. You need to get back in the yard right now. Come on, I'll carry you there. No, I don't want to be carried there. I need my mom. My real mom. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. These people are so crazy. Huh, I'm just hiding behind this giant billboard. No one will find me here, right? I hope not. Oh my gosh, where are the police? I need my cell phone. Okay, let me see if I can find it in my backpack. Cell phone, cell phone, cell phone. There it is. 911, what's your emergency? Daisy, it's me! Oh, where are you, Molly? Mom and I are driving around trying to find you. Oh, Daisy, I'm right here! Daisy! Mom! Molly, what's going on? What happened? Okay, what seems to be the problem? Daisy, you're the police officer? Yeah, Molly, what about it? Molly, tell us what happened. Th that, that girl over there, she stole me and, and locked me in the house and said that she was my new mom. Okay, you know what to do, Daisy. We've got to go arrest them. Okay, I'm on it. Excuse me, Emily, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can't be used against you. What? What are you talking about? And, and this person too, Molly? Yeah, she, she, she... She said that she was going to be my new mom, even though I told her, no way. What? I didn't know you had a mom. I told you five times I have a mom. Now you're going to prison. There's nothing you can do. Okay, please put your arms behind your back so that I can, um. What? What are you doing? <laughs> ah, it's a robber. Okay, things are getting crazy. The toddler's actually a robber. He's trying to rob the lady who told me I had to be 
Um, her daughter. Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna sit in the police car. Nope, nope, I changed my mind. I'm gonna ride the horse. I'm riding the horse. I'm out of here. Money, what are you doing? Get in the police car. We're safe. We gotta drive away. This thing's getting crazy around here. Holy guacamole. Molly, this is why you stay at daycare. I'll go back to daycare any day. Seriously, it got to be better than the, the robbery and the lady who stole me and said that I had to be your daughter. Things are just getting out of hand. Out of hand in Brookhaven. Well, it looks like there's going to be a lot of arrests today. A lot of arrests today. Ah, I can't get this fireplace started and it's freezing in here. Well, Molly, just try to think warm thoughts. That's what Mom told me to do. Daisy, just thinking warm thoughts is not going to actually make me warm. This house stinks. It's always broken. The furnace doesn't work. The pipes leak. The, even the fireplace won't turn on. We need a new house. Yeah, but it's not like someone's just going to show up at our door and give us a new house. Whoa! <laughs> Somebody's at the door. That was really weird. It was like someone heard that we needed a free house. Marley, he's probably a vacuum salesman. He's not going to give us a free house. Or maybe he's dropping off Mom's Amazon package. Hi, what do you want? Uh, my parents are home, so you can't come in. Oh, <laughs> my name is Ed Schnoodlebutterbubbala. What? Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's a really hard last name to pronounce. But don't worry, you don't have to. Because I'm here to tell you, you've won a beach house. What? Were you just listening to our conversation? Who, me? No, I would never do that. But anyway, it's still in Brookhaven, but it's down at the beach. What do you say? Do you want it? Just sign right here. Wait a minute. Does it come with heat? Does the furnace work? You betcha. Uh, do the pipes leak? No way. Okay, fine. I'll come out and sign. Okay, great. Just sign right here on the dotted line. All right, cool. And congratulations. I now own your soul. I mean, your old house. <laughs> I'll sell it and stuff. Don't worry about it. Okay, um, I'm sure my parents won't care if I sign the old house away. Daisy, we just want a beach house. We just want a beach house. What? No, that can't be real. Here's the legal document saying we own it now. Holy guacamole! I can't wait to see our new house! Well, don't just sit there. Come on, let's go! Let's pack our bags! Holy guacamole! Look at this new house! It's amazing! Tell me about it, Molly. I bet the heat looks awesome in there. Yeah, we're never going to be cold again. And look at it! Look at the pool! That's amazing! All right, I'm going upstairs. I want to see this whole house. <gasps> oh, MG! I'm in love with this place! I can't even believe that we won those sweepstakes. I don't ever even remember entering any sweepstakes. Me either, but who cares? He sold our old house that was a total clunker, and we got this one. Look, oh my gosh, look at this bathroom. Holy guacamole. I totally want to go outside and see the pool and stuff. Pool, there's a pool. Yeah, and also the lake, and uh, it's just too much. I can't even stop running around. I'm so excited right now. Well, Molly, um, it's getting kind of late. We should probably make some dinner and then go to bed because there's school tomorrow. Yeah, you're probably right. Ugh, I'm so tired. Look at this huge bed. I'm annoyed. What? You're annoyed? Why? Because there's only one bed in one bedroom. At least in our old house, we each had our own bed. Well, I don't know. I just think the beach house is amazing. And uh, I guess you're going to have to room up with me. No, I don't want to. I, I just... Oh, fine. But you know, you know, you better not fart in your sleep. <coughs> Molly, are you asleep already? <coughs> oh, my gosh, she farted already. Ay, ay, ay. That was the worst night of sleep ever. Molly farted and snored all night long. But she must already be at school. Wait a minute. She left for school before me? Of course she did. She actually got a good night's sleep. Huh? What? What? What are you saying? Well, I better get off to school. I don't want to be late. Daisy, what are you talking about? I'm standing right here. Daisy, I didn't go to school yet. She's ignoring me on purpose. Probably because I farted in my sleep. <laughs> Daisy, come on. You're going to be late. Come on. Well, I guess I better get to this school bus. I still can't believe Molly left before I did. Daisy, I'm standing right in front of you. What? Did I just walk through Daisy? 
What? Daisy, come back here. I, 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 I. Oh my god, I just walked through her again. Am I a ghost? No, 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 no. I'm pretty sure I didn't die. I think I'm just invisible. Whoa. I don't know if this is good or bad, but I'm going to go to school and see if anybody else sees me. Good morning, Brookie. I wonder where Molly is. She's not here yet. She's going to get detention for being late. I'm right here, Brookie. I'm right here. Oh, no. I can walk through Brookie, too. Wait, there's Sarah. Nah, 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 nah. Sarah, Sarah. <laughs> I farted right next to you, Sarah. Ugh, something really smells. What is that? I think the school has a sewer leak. <laughs> she thinks it's a sewer leak. <laughs> no, 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 it's just me. Ugh, this school is so gross. No one can see me. I'm invisible. Wait a minute, why am I invisible? Where do you think Molly is? I don't know. We got this beach house for free. She's probably chilling by the pool. Wait a minute, you want a free beach house? I want a free beach house. You did? Holy guacamole. Yeah, mine's over at um, Takawana Beach. Where is yours at? Oh, I'm over at Brookhaven Beach. Oh, wow. I can't believe we both won new beach houses. Me either. Um, did you sign the paperwork that says, you know, like, you give up your old house or whatever? Yeah, my old house wasn't nearly as nice as the one I got. Oh, well, that's cool. Maybe we can visit each other's beach houses. Sounds good. Come on, let's go to class. Oh, wait, I still have to get my books. I'll meet you in there, Daisy. You know, since I'm invisible, I won't be getting credit for coming to this class, which probably means I don't even need to be here right now. Oh, I better not be late. Oh, Molly, there you are. What? Brookie, you can see me? Yeah, of course I can. Why couldn't I? Um, because, um, I'm invisible? No, you're not. I wonder where Brookie is. She's going to be late for math class. Uh-oh, Brookie. I hate to break this to you, but now you're also invisible. Wait, what? Nope, they can't see you, not even a little bit. How come we can see each other then? Because we're both invisible. Ugh, something is really stinking again. Ew, Molly. <laughs> I ate some beans the other day and I've just been like farting all morning and Sarah thinks it's the sewer backing up. <laughs> oh, Molly, you're such a prankster. What are we gonna do about being invisible? Celebrate! It means no more homework, no more teachers. All day we can eat pizza. Molly, I don't think this is such a good thing. I mean, my parents will miss me and, and wait a minute. What would make us both invisible? What did we do that the other kids didn't do? Ugh, I can't believe those two losers got a free beach house and I didn't. Wait, you got a free beach house? So didn't I. Oh my gosh, I knew the beach house was too good to be true. That guy was obviously a demon. Um, Molly, I don't think this is so good. Well, let me pull out the contract and see what it says. Molly, did you read the contract before you signed it? Uh, uh, no. Me either. I was too excited about the beach house. Me too. Um, I, Molly Acker, give my soul to the demon? Oh my gosh! The demon! He, 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 he took our human soul. I mean, her, uh, uh, our human soul or whatever. I don't know what it's called, but he took it. What? No, we have to get it back. Yeah, or we could be invisible forever. Let's go find him. Let's go find him. Um, do you think Sarah will mind if we borrow her car? Um, wait, I'm invisible. Can I sit in it? <laughs> sure can. Come on, invisible best friend. Time to go get our souls back. Molly, can we listen to some good music? Sure, why not? Molly, you just ran that red light. Who cares? We're invisible. Now let's go over to get some um, takeout first. Molly, we don't need takeout. We need to get our we need to get our souls back so we're not invisible anymore. Okay, yeah. Um, let's go over towards the beach. Maybe he'll be over there trying to give other people free beach houses. What a little trickster. Look, Molly, it's the demon in his real form. Ha 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 ha. Thanks for the free souls. How are you liking your new house? <laughs> well, the house is great, but um, being invisible, not so much. 
We want our souls back right now. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, well, have it your way. For real, Molly, you're just giving up? Giving up? <laughs> I don't think so. Who are you calling? You'll see. Hello, this is Laura. How can I help you? Mom, sorry to bother you at work, but um, I accidentally signed our house away. What? Yeah, and um, now I'm invisible because I signed it over to a demon. Give me a beach house, though. What? What do you mean you're invisible? Are you okay? Brookie did it, too, and um, this demon wants to steal our souls forever. Oh, really? You put me on speakerphone right now, Molly. Okay, here you, here you go, Mom. Listen here, Mr. Demon. You gave my daughter and her best friend her their souls back, or you're going to sit in time out for the rest of eternity. Do you hear me, mister? Whoa, your mom means business. Yeah, don't cross her. Seriously, she can be pretty fierce. Okay, I'll give them their souls back. And I think this is very bad, bad, bad behavior. You should really think about what you do before you do it next time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Love you. Molly, I'll talk to you about this when I get home. And take the chicken out. I want to make it for dinner. Okay, Mom. Bye. Well, I guess I got to give your souls back. Ugh. Here you go. Hooray! We're cured! Now, I get my beach house back. Uh, no. We're keeping that. Yeah, the beach house is amazing. No, that's not part of the deal. You get your old crummy houses back, and that's all there is to it. Oh, man. Molly. Mo there you are, Molly. Why aren't you up in bed? It's it's almost 10 o'clock. I was watching the end of Brook High, and it's a really good episode. Molly, I don't care. Your bedtime is well past your bedtime. That's what I meant. I, I'm so tired, I can't even think. Mom, why is it that old people are always so tired? Are you saying that I'm old, Molly? Are you saying that I'm old? Um, yes. Oh, thanks, Molly. That's such a nice thing of you to say. Well, you were getting all tongue-tied, and then you said you were really tired. I am really tired. I work all day. I take care of my kids. Oh, it's a lot to do. Now, did you brush your teeth, Molly? Uh, yeah. I, I sure did. Molly, are you being honest? Uh, yep. I, I definitely brush my teeth. Okay, come on, let's head up to bed. Molly, don't get into bed till you brush your teeth. Remember you said you didn't and you do it later? Molly, did you lie to me about brushing your teeth? Um, I forgot that I didn't brush them. Molly, that's such a lame excuse. I, 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 I um, uh, I really did forget. Molly, go brush your teeth and don't lie to me. Or you're gonna be grounded for like ever. Okay, fine. And really brush them. I will. Good morning, class. Good morning. Molly, did you bring your homework today? No, but I brought the animal who ate my homework. What? Why did you bring a dog to school? Because this naughty dog, um, and I don't even know whose dog this is, it just came into my yard and decided that my homework looked tasty. Didn't it, dog? <coughs> Are you blaming the dog for the fact you didn't do your homework? What? No, I wouldn't do that. <sighs> the dog ran away, which tells me you're not telling the truth. Otherwise, the dog would just hang out here. But no, it ran away. It thought it was going to get in trouble for eating your homework, which it didn't. But it did. I'm telling the truth. Molly, you're notorious for telling fibs. And I'm pretty sure this is another one. Dogs eat bones. They don't, they don't chew on homework. Oh, Daisy's new soccer ball. It's going to be so much fun to play with. <laughs> wee! Wee! Uh-oh! It's going to roll over the edge! No, wait! Come back! Oh, oh! It ran over into town. And now it's definitely going to get hit by a car! Um, okay. I'm just going to pretend I wasn't playing with her ball. Yeah, that's exactly what I'll do. Molly, I looked everywhere outside for my soccer ball and I can't find it. Have you seen it? Who, me? No, why would I see it? Okay, no need to get defensive. I just thought maybe you had seen it. No, I wouldn't see it, or I wouldn't play with it, and, and, and I wouldn't let it roll out into the road and get hit by a car. Oh my gosh, you're lying again. I'm not a liar. Yes, you are. You lie to everyone. You're so naughty, and you fib all the time. Oh, really? Prove it. Ugh, 
Molly! You should see how it feels. It feels horrible to be lied to, even if it is just a little tall tale. Well, whatever. You can't prove it, and I'm watching my show right now. Bye! Molly! I have a good idea to teach Molly a lesson. She'll learn what it feels like to be lied to, and it doesn't feel nice. Good morning, Molly. Would you like a healthy piece of fruit for breakfast? You should start the day off right before school. What? No, I want Reese Cup cereal. That's what I have every Wednesday or Monday or Tuesday. Yes, I know you like to have Reese Cup cereal, but the bad news is Reese Cups will no longer be made. Wait, wh what? That's right. The company that makes your favorite cereal has gone out of business. No more Reese Cups or Reese Cup cereal for the rest of your life. Ah! That's terrible news! What will I have for breakfast? Like I said, sweetheart, how about a nice delicious apple? I, I'm trying not to cry over this, but I'm feeling very, very sad. Well, Molly, <laughs> that's just the way the cereal crumbles. Now, why don't you go get ready for school? It's almost time to get going. Uh, it's gonna be very bright and sunny out today, so don't forget your sunblock. Wait, what? Bright and sunny, it's the middle of winter. Yeah, but it's gonna be like 95 this afternoon. What? Something doesn't sound right about that. Yeah, don't forget your sunblock and brush your teeth. Fine, I'm wearing sunblock. Molly, I'm going to check and make sure you use some sunblock. Okay. Wow, she's bossy this morning. Well, I guess that's just how moms are. Can't believe my favorite cereal is no more. I believe I have to put the sunblock on in the middle of winter. This is just weird. Ugh, so far this day is going really badly. Okay, Mom, I put the sunblock lotion on you left in the bathroom. Ah, I mean, oh! <laughs> um, good job, Molly. What, what's, what's so funny? Oh, nothing. <laughs> um, I just can't look at you right now. You're very, um, cheery. Yeah, very bright. No, I'm not. I'm really sad about my cereal. Well, at least it's gonna be nice and warm outside. Wait, am I gonna miss the bus, Daisy? You already missed it. The bus is incoming and <laughs> you look great, Molly. What? What's, what are you talking about? <laughs> Nothing, but you have to walk to school. The bus is incoming. What? Oh, that's like a two mile walk. It'll be good for you, Molly. Good thing you put that sunblock on. <laughs> Wouldn't want to get a sunburn. Yeah. <sighs> what a day. I didn't even eat breakfast, so I'm like starving. Why didn't you eat an apple, Molly? Apple, schnapple, apple. Miss my Reese Cup cereal. I have to run to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Don't be late for class, Molly. Oh, what a day. Wah! Why is my skin bright pink? What is going on? Daisy! Daisy! I have bright pink skin! Why? Did you put something in the sunblock? Like, like Kool-Aid? Whoa, Molly, what happened to you? Somebody put Kool-Aid in the sunblock. Well, it certainly wouldn't be me. Are you lying to me right now, Daisy? Me? I wouldn't do that. Just like you wouldn't lie, right, Molly? Whoa, Molly, you look weird. Oh my gosh, this is the worst day ever. Yeah, but you can't miss class today because the teacher said if you miss class today, you will have in-school suspension all summer. What? Yeah, it's like summer school. You have to sit here and stare at the wall. Oh my gosh, I guess I guess I'm gonna have to face the world with this, this super pink skin. Okay, fine. Holy moly, Molly. What happened to you? Did you get a sunburn? No, somebody put pink Kool-Aid in the suntan lotion or sunblock or whatever it's called. Uh, Molly, it's called sunblock, so you don't look like that when you go out in the sun. Well, it failed, apparently. Speaking of failing, I have a pop quiz for you all. And I'm hoping you all pass, or you have to go to in-school suspension for all the summer. You mean summer school? Pretty much, it's like prison. <laughs> Here you go, take a test. Holy guacamole, it's like a miracle. I know all the answers to this this pop quiz, this has never happened before. I'm going to get a perfect hundred on this thing. Oh yeah, <laughs> I guess this day isn't so bad after all. Okay everyone, time's up. Doesn't matter, I completed it already. 
Here you go. Wow, Molly, you got done really quick. That's awesome. Well, I'll grade them right now and see if you're going to sit in summer school prison. I got nothing to worry about because I did so good on that test. I can't even believe it. Okay, I've graded them and well, I had everyone do excellent except for one student. Ooh, what one student is it gonna be? <laughs> Feel sorry for them, summer school prison. Well, Molly, I'm very disappointed. You got every single one of these questions wrong. Wait, what? But I know the answers, I answered them correctly. Well, apparently you didn't, Molly. Yeah, Molly, so I'll be seeing you for summer school prison. What? No! 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 <laughs> Why are you laughing, Daisy? <laughs> well, <laughs> I was just lying to you. You got a hundred. Wait, what? Yeah, and I put Kool-Aid in the sunblock. What? Yeah, and your favorite cereal actually is still in production. Okay, now? I'm just getting really sad and also angry. Why did you guys lie to me all day? Because, Molly, you fib and lie every day to us. We wanted to show you how it feels. It makes you sad and angry, doesn't it? It makes you feel cheated and, and, and like, like we don't respect you, doesn't it? Um, yeah, it kind of does. Well, Molly, maybe you should consider that because no one likes to be lied to. It feels really bad. Cheapers, I never thought about it that way. Well, maybe you could start by apologizing to the people that you lied to and then promise them that you won't do it again and really follow through. Okay, I'm sorry, Brookie. I'm, I'm sorry, Daisy. I'm sorry, Mrs. A. It's okay, Molly, but we need to see your improvement in your lying. Don't worry. I see how it feels to be lied to, so I'm gonna work really hard not to do whatever again. Now, please don't lie to me. <sighs> Oh, maybe I should ask you to lie to me. Tell me how long this Kool-Aid's gonna last on my skin. The truth, Molly, or a lie? Oh, the truth. At least a week. Oh, man! Ah, all this delicious Halloween candy. Smell that sweet success. Molly, Halloween was like, I don't know, at least a month ago and you still have candy? It's probably old. I want candy. No, you guys can't have my candy. It's my candy. Mine, mine, mine. Molly, it's going to go bad before you can eat it all. You could give some to baby Kiwa. Besides, she didn't really go trick-or-treating because she was still too little. Well, too bad for her. I did all this work and it's my candy. Mine, mine, mine. Oh, baby Kiwa, I'm sorry Molly's so selfish. If I hadn't have traded all of my candy in for healthy snacks, I'd give you some of mine for sure. I can, I can want a piece of chocolate. I know, I'm sorry, baby Kiwa. Okay, I feel sad. You don't buy the double, you don't buy. Mmm, this Halloween candy is delicious. Mm. I've got to find a place to hide it that'll be safe. Because I bet you Daisy's going to want to steal some. Oh, um, where can I put it? Oh, I know. I can put it in here. Um, where can I put it? Um, uh, uh, uh. Oh, I'll put it in the cabinet in here inside the bathroom. <laughs> no one would ever think to look there for candy. <laughs> well, well, well. What do we have here? Two people who don't have Halloween candy. <laughs> Molly, can you stop rubbing it in? I mean, baby Kill is sad that she couldn't have any chocolate. Well, maybe next year she can go trick-or-treating, but you have to wait 11 months until then. <laughs> Molly, are you torturing your baby sister? Leave her alone. Or else you're going to be grounded. Grounded? What do you mean? I didn't do anything. Molly, I will make you do these dishes every day for a year if you don't behave yourself. Okay, Mom, okay. Sorry, baby Kira, that I was being rude. I just can't, I just, I, I just want candy, but I, I don't got to have candy. Well, it's time to head off to school. Ah, I'm so glad I got up early so I could chill a little bit. That science test has really been stressing me out. Bye, baby Kira, bye, Mom! 
Have a good day at school, girls. Bye. Uh, last one of the school is a rotten egg. I'm not a rotten egg, Molly. You are if you don't get to the school last. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Is this school day over yet? I keep thinking about all that delicious candy. Candy, 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 candy. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going insane. I can't take any more school. Blah, 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 blah. I gotta make the basket. Hey, Molly. It's the last class of the day. Molly. Wake up, Molly! Huh? What? Ah, why are you throwing a basketball at me? Hey, Molly, how was school today? Let me sum it up for you. Blah, 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 blah. I'm pretty sure your teachers didn't just say blah, blah, blah all today. Well, that's exactly what it sounded to me. I need some candy and stat. I can already taste it. It's gonna be delicious. What? Where's my candy? Oh, wait, maybe I put it on the left-hand side. <laughs> maybe I put it under the sink. <gasps> my candy. It's it's missing. Daisy, where is my candy? What? What are you talking about? I don't know. Did you eat it all? Of course I didn't eat it all. I mean, I'd like to eat it all, but I saved some just because I knew today would be, well, schooly, and I, I, I knew I'd need some candy. Schooly, is that even a word? Let me Google it. Daisy, just give me my candy, now! I didn't take your candy. I don't even know where you're hiding it. But you know that I'm hiding it, which then means you know that I was hiding it. What? What are you talking about? I just figured you hid it because you're so greedy with it. And that's precisely why you decided to eat it all yourself. You owe me a million dollars. A billion dollars? <laughs> don't make me laugh. No candy's worth a million dollars. Molly's candy is. My candy's worth a million dollars! <laughs> well, even if it was worth a million dollars and I had a million dollars, I didn't take your candy. But, but, if you didn't take it, who did? Uh, maybe you just ate it all. No, I didn't. Fine, you don't want to admit it, you being a liar? Okay, fine, 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 and also fine. I'll just catch her on the security cameras. That's what I'll do. Yep, yep, yep. I need to go and put some security cameras up and, and then I'll catch my sister red-handed. There, this is perfect. Look at, sti look at my sister just standing there. She knows she's been caught. <laughs> Ooh, mom's making tacos for dinner, my favorite. Where is that bag of candy? Oh wait, look, there's me, hi. I don't see a bag of candy anywhere. It's gotta be somewhere around this house. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. I've lost all my candy. I found your, I found your candy. What, baby Kira? You found my candy? Oh, you're the best little sister ever. Can't believe Daisy stole my candy. Okay, girls, time for bed. You have school in the morning. Molly, what are you doing with that bag of candy? You can't take that to bed. Oh, yes, I am. Someone has been eating my Halloween candy. And, and, and if it wasn't for baby Kira, I would have never got it back. Molly, put your candy down. You're not taking that to bed. Fine, but if anyone steals my candy, it'll be all your fault. Oh, whatever, Molly. Nobody wants your stale Halloween candy anyway. She's just saying that because she's the one who took it. Molly, it's not nice to accuse Daisy. You don't know she was actually guilty. Oh no, I know she's guilty. I can see it in my mind. Mm. This is the best Halloween candy ever. Mm. I'm eating all of Molly's candy. Mm. And it's delicious. Molly, snap out of it. Oh, sorry. Anyway, I just know that Daisy did it. I can see it. Well... Until you can prove it, quit accusing your sister. Now put down that bag of candy and get into bed. Fine, Mom. Good night. Good night, honey. I love you. No one better eat my candy. No one better eat it! Wow, what a beautiful morning. Wait, my candy. We 
Where's that my candy? Where? <gasps> Wait a minute. My candy's missing again, and you're up already. Of course I am. I always wake up at 6.15 every single day because I have a very, very busy schedule before I go in and be the best student I can be. Liar! You stole my candy! I did not. You are so rude. O-M-G. Well, you're about to get caught. I'm going to review all of the footage from this camera. Go right ahead. I was sleeping all night. All right, I'm logged in to the house security cameras. Oh, nothing looks strange here. Oh, there I am, sleeping. And there's... There's Daisy all snug in her bed, too. And who took my candy? <gasps> Some sort of monster! Daisy, do you think it was Mom? Of course it wasn't, Molly. Mom can afford her own candy. Wait, what is that? <gasps> is that baby Kira with my candy? Oh. My. Gosh! Evidence! Proof! Okay, Molly, I'm waiting for it. Waiting for what? Your apology? Oh, yeah, sorry and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can't believe that baby Kira stole your Halloween candy. I know, I know. I'm gonna go confront her about it right now. Good luck, Molly! Baby Kira? I might. I, I just woke up. Oh, yeah. Um... I have a question for you, baby Kira. Okay, what am I? What are you eating? Oh, nothing. I'm eating my tongue. You're eating your tongue? Seriously? That's the answer? Oh, four-year-old logic. So, um, did you sneak into my room last night and steal my Halloween candy? What? Me? No. Baby Kira, are you lying? Me? Why? Never. Baby Kira! Why is there chocolate all over your face then? I not talking. Well, what else could it be? Chocolate is chocolate. It even smells like chocolate in here. I don't know if I'm not chocolate. Baby Kira, I saw you on the security camera taking my Halloween candy. And I'm telling Mom. Mom! Baby Kira, you're getting a timeout. I want that, Mom. No! That was very naughty of you to take Halloween candy from Molly. And we do not lie in this house. So up in the chair, please. This is your timeout. So many timeouts over the years, I've lost count. I don't want to eat candy anymore. Oh, that's good because there's only one piece left. You ate all the rest of it. Oh, boy. I definitely need a vacation. Away from everyone. <laughs> hey, Mom, maybe you should give yourself a timeout. <laughs> Very funny, Molly. Very funny. school but that's okay it's a nice day so i'll just walk i can't wait to watch the latest tiktok videos i bet they're amazing <laughs> look at that cat dancing that's hilarious <laughs> oh that's so cool ah, watch out oh my gosh i can't believe i hit that girl ah somebody help we need an ambulance ah! whoa where am I? What happened? Hello, Molly. Welcome to heaven. Wait a minute. I died? Yes, you did. And, and I ended up in heaven? <laughs> I was so naughty, I didn't see that one coming. Molly, I am God. Oh, well, hello. Nice to meet you. Um, sorry I never did my homework. Um... And that I was kind of annoying to my sister and stuff. But I'm glad to be here. You won't be here for long. What? Why not? It's not your time yet, Molly. I'm sending you back to Brookhaven. Oh, um, yeah, that's a nice suit. Thanks. It's Armani. He made it especially for me. Oh, that <laughs> must be nice to be God, huh? Sure is. Now, do you want to go back as a human? Or perhaps a bird or something? Whoa! You're saying I can go back to life as anything I want? Yes, Molly, I think you can. Um, well, humans have to do a lot of homework. That doesn't sound much like much fun. And 
imagine you have to do chores and stuff. <gasps> I know what I want to be. A cat. A cat? Seriously? Why? Because, um, well, you can poop outside and stuff. Seriously? That's why you want to be a cat? Yeah, and, um, I could knock my sister's drinks off the table and I could get away with it because I'm a cat. <laughs> I think that'd be kind of fun. Well, okay, if you really want to be a cat, your wish is my command. Hey, wait a minute! I'm not, I'm not a cat! You made me into a pig! What, what, what's going on? Oops. <laughs> Seems I need a little vacation to the Bahamas. <laughs> oh, I'm so overworked. Okay, here we go again. <laughs> My masterpiece is beautiful. Meow, meow. Oh, wow. I'm really a cat. This is amazing. <laughs> now send me back to Planet Brookhaven. Okay, Molly. But remember, stop looking at TikToks when you go out in the road. Oh, yeah, that was pretty silly of me. Thanks, God. Bye! Meow, meow, meow. What's that sound? It sounds like a cat outside our door, but we don't have a pet cat. Meow, meow, meow. It is a pet cat. Oh, how adorable. Well... At least this cat might make me happy. I mean, I lost my only sister. My beautiful and, well, very annoying sister. I can't believe she got hit by the city bus. Meow, are you going to let me in or not? Whoa, did that cat just talk? I must have lost my mind. Come on, kitty, kitty. I could use a friend right now. Meow, meow. I'm not a friend, I'm a cat. Meow, meow. Scratch me! You're rude! You remind me so much of my sister Molly. Maybe I should name you Molly. I am Molly. Meow! Oh my god! I'm going crazy since Molly died! She, 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 she sounds just like my sister! With a lot of meows too. Get off the couch, you lazy cat! No animals allowed on the furniture! Meow! Get lost! Okay, now I really have lost my mind. Daisy, it's me, Molly. Wait, what? Molly, you, 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 you died. Yeah, but I went to heaven, I saw God, and he said I could come back as anything I wanted because it wasn't my time yet. So, I decided to come back as a cat. Okay, my brain is exploding. I can't, I can't comprehend all of this. What? Uh... Daisy, don't pass out about it. You don't want to go to heaven. He might turn you into like, a lizard or something. <laughs> Molly, how is this possible? Well, I'm just telling you. I got turned into a cat. Here I am. Excuse me for a minute. I'm very thirsty. Molly, where are you going? Molly! <coughs> Ew! Molly, are you drinking out of the toilet? That's disgusting! Ew! Ew! Gross! What? What? It tasted delicious. Don't you know animals drink out of toilets? Ah, it's like going to Starbucks. Oh. My. Gosh, that was so gross. Um, well, I'm kind of hungry too. You got any cat food? Uh, no. Do you have any cans of tuna? Just gonna eat a can of tuna by itself? Yeah, that sounds delicious. Oh my God, I can't believe you got turned into a cat. Well, I'm gonna go outside and play. Um, you get that tuna opened right away. I'm very hungry. I have to go poo-poo, and that yard looks like the perfect toilet. <laughs> ah. Ooh, look at it. I've even got privacy. Look at all these shrubs and bushes. Oh, this is going to be great. It's going to be the best bathroom ever. Ah, that feels better. Oh, you silly cat. Why are you pooping on my yard? Oh, I'm going to get you. Ah, does he have an axe? Wait, I'm not done going potty yet. Hold on, hold on. I'm almost done, then I'll get off your yard. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm back here again? I really wish I could stop dying today. Oh, Molly. I see you're not any more successful at being a cat than you were a human. Um, yeah, uh, I sort of made a mistake. <laughs> Pooping on the neighbor's yard, huh? Yeah, uh, I'm a cat. I also drink out of toilets and stuff. 
<laughs> you can be a cat, but you're going to have to figure out how to survive. Really? Um, do I get another chance? Actually, you get eight more. <laughs> a cat does have nine lives, you know. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Humans only get one. Except if you're, if you're me and God doesn't want you to come to heaven. Wait, why didn't you want me to come to heaven? Well, you're a little annoying, Molly. Really? That's why you sent me back to Earth? I thought I had some great epic mission. No, I just didn't want you up here eating all the Doritos and Reese cups on me. Oh, man. Harsh. Okay, back to Brookhaven Planet you go, but remember, you don't have unlimited lives. Okay, God, I'll remember. Ugh, I really need a nap. Ugh, cat naps are a real thing, you know. And I've died so much today, I just need a break. Ooh, this dryer is so warm and cozy. I just need to curl up inside here. Oh, boy, I have so much laundry to get done. Okay, now I just need to press start. Yes, Michael. That cat Molly is back again. I can't even believe it. Neither can I. I mean, who doesn't think sleeping in the dryer is a good idea? Molly, could you do any of these things as a human? No, but uh, I thought a cat could. Oh, Michael, I'll call you back later. Yeah, we're still on for lunch tomorrow. Oh my gosh, I'm spending way too much time here, God. What can I do to not do this anymore? Well, I guess you need to learn how to be a better cat. Now, back to Earth you go. Brooks Diner, ooh, I'm starving. And look what they have on the menu. My favorite, rat. <laughs> Get back here, rat. again. <laughs> Good morning, girls. I'm just about to make breakfast. Oh, boy, Mom, can we have pancakes? Sorry, Molly, I don't have the ingredients for pancakes this week. But, Mom, I really want pancakes. Come on, it's summer vacation. Yeah, that sounds really good, Mom, please. I'm sorry, girls. Uh, there, There's no pancake mix, and I don't have money for that this week, okay? Fine. Dizzy, why are you just staring at the empty TV screen with nothing on it? Well, I'm imagining that we had cable. What do you mean? We, we don't? No, girls, I'm sorry. Your dad and I are trying to save money, so um, we decided to take the cable out. There's still the news station, though. The news station? Who wants to watch that garbage, Mom? Oh, that's so boring. Wait a minute. Is that a leftover piece of pizza? Mine! I claim it! Mmm, so good, Mom. You make the best homemade pizza ever. Molly, that's weird to eat that for breakfast. I think it's delicious. Mmm. So, Daisy, would you like some oatmeal for breakfast? No, I'm not really even hungry. <sighs> I wish we could go with everyone else somewhere today. What do you mean? Where is everyone going? Oh, everyone in our school and their families are going to the water park in Brookhaven. Wow, that sounds like so much fun. Uh, how much does it cost? Uh, it's like $50 a person. Per person? Per family? That's right, Mom. So it would be about $200 for us to go. $200? What's the school crazy? We can't afford that. Oh, Mom. Come on, can't we go, please? You must have a little bit in your, um, in your wallet or something, right? I only have, like, three dollars, and I have to use that for gas money to get to, to my job, girls. Like, I don't have two hundred dollars to take you to the water park. This is the most terrible summer ever. It's just, I hate being poor. I hate it. <laughs> Ugh, I feel like a horrible mom. I wish I could afford to take you girls to the water park. Molly, come here, please. What? I'm pouting in my room. What do you want? No, I'm going to pout in the bathroom. Molly, come out here, please. What? You made Mom feel really sad. I'm really sorry, girls, that I can't give you more things. Like, 
you know, expensive tickets to water parks and, and beautiful clothes, but I love you more than anything, and I always make sure you have a roof over your head, even if it leaks a little. And, and, and I have food in your belly, even though it's not always exactly what you want. I always make sure that you know that I love you so much, and I hope someday you'll know that that's enough. I didn't want to tell you girls this. I wanted it to be a surprise, but since you're so sad about the water park, I guess I'll tell you now. We're going to Disney? Whoa, Mom, this is amazing! Molly, she didn't say we were going to Disney. Ay, ay, ay. No, your dad and I managed to save up to take you girls to the ice cream shop. Wait, what? That's all we're doing all summer? Ugh, I knew you wouldn't be very impressed. It's all we can afford, girls. We're only getting ice cream one time this summer. Ugh, oh, working three jobs is just killing me. Ugh, oh, I've been working on cutting down all these trees to make lumber all day, and it's exhausting. Well, I guess now's the perfect time to get that ice cream, Dad, since you look really hot. I am. It's 100 degrees outside. Wait, you told the girls about our surprise trip? Well, I had to. They wanted to go to the water park, and we can't afford to send them, even though they're the only ones at school that aren't going to be able to go. Oh, we failed as parents. No, you didn't. We're happy that we get to eat ice cream, right, Daisy? Yeah, I'm going to get my favorite. But only one scoop. It's all we can afford. Okay, well, let's get going, guys. Come on, girls, get in. Dad, are you sure you don't just want to walk? I mean... Your car has a habit of actually not getting us anywhere, ever. It's always breaking down. Yeah, and it smells like a rotten egg fart. <laughs> oh, it doesn't smell that bad. Yes, it does, Dad. It literally smells like a giant fart. What's wrong with your car? Uh, the girls do have a point, honey. It does smell pretty bad. Well, hopefully it just gets us there. That's all I care about. Uh, Dad, I smell something really funny. Oh, sorry, that was me. <laughs> Leftover pizza does it to me every time. Ah, uh, maybe it wasn't your car that smelled like a rotten egg fart. Maybe it was Molly this whole time. Ew, Molly. What? What? We have money to go through the car wash? No, it's free car wash day. We need to take care of that smell. But Dad, we're, ah, we're getting soaked, Dad. Well, you're the one that I think is making it smell like a rotten egg fart. So, Molly, you need a bath. We could all use a bath. The water's not running at the house real well these days. Ah! <laughs> I got soap in my hair! I think that's kind of the point, Dad. <laughs> not only does the car get washed, we do too! Free baths for everyone! Now that we're all clean and smell good, we can go into the ice cream shop. I can't believe it! The car actually made it this time. <laughs> Let's see, what kind of flavors do I want? Remember, Molly, just one scoop. It's all we can afford. Oh, well, I'm definitely getting my favorite mint chocolate chip. Mm, that's so good. So good. Mm. Whoa, who's that? They're pulling up in a limo, Daisy. Whoa, they look so rich. I bet they're the rip richest people in all of Brookhaven. Ooh, I'm going to get a scoop of everything. Then I'm going to go to the Louis Vuitton store and buy five new purses. Oh, honey. <laughs> Slow down with all this spending of our money. Just kidding. We're billionaires. You can have anything you want. Whatever makes your heart happy. Oh, dear. You're so sweet. Wow. I wonder what it's like to be that rich. Yeah, Molly. Me too. I can see it now. This is going to be the perfect spot for my new mansion. Let's see, which mansion do I want? I am so rich, I can have anyone I every, anyone I want, really. Um, it just depends on the, the one I think is the cutest. Oh, MG, this one's really cool. This is the one I'm going to have in Brookhaven, but I'm also going to have one in Hawaii. And I'm going to have one in Malibu, so this is just my Brookhaven one. Wow. Look at my new house. It's amazing. I'm so rich that I had an architect build this house completely off center. Look at it. <laughs> it's like I'm falling down no matter where I am in the house. This house cost me $4 million. 
It was worth every, every penny. Sometimes I just lay money down as my pillow and I, I sleep on it because that's how rich I am. Like I can make money into pillows. Sometimes I even take a bath in money. I'm so rich. I'm so rich. Stacks of cash. Stacks of cash. I got me stacks of cash. I think I'm going to go buy a fancy sports car like right now. What kind of sports car would I want? I could buy a school bus. Yeah, I'm going to buy a school bus and a sports car because that's kind of funny. Ooh, look at this. I really like this. Okay, I'm buying that. It's like not letting me. Okay, fine. I'll try this sports car then. This one's better than that pink one anyway. Oh, yeah. Look at my new car. Oh, I'm so rich. It's just like the best thing in the world. Ah, time to go to the beach. Ah, as soon as I learn how to drive. Whoa, I totally ran into my new house. Oh, well, I'll just buy a new garage if I ruin this one. Ah, why won't the wheel turn? Obviously, I need to hire a driver. I can do that. I'm rich, you know. I'll also hire a chef, and I'll hire, I'll hire everything. I'll hire a housekeeper. And when you're rich, you can do whatever you want. You can sit on the beach all day. Just counting your money and feeling the sunshine on your face. <sighs> and guess what? You never have to go to school ever again. Whoa, 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 Molly. What are you talking about? What do you mean what am I talking about? The rich have the best life ever. They still have to go to school, Molly, whether you're rich or not. Nope. Mm. If I had all the money in the world, no more school for me. Molly, it's against the law to not go to school. You have to go to school. Okay, but the teachers would work for me. That means no more detention. Yeah, if you say so, Molly. Molly, would you really want to be rich? Well, yeah. Wouldn't be ri being rich be awesome? Yeah, but you'd have different parents and a different sister and everything. Mm, yeah, I guess that's true. So, would you still want to be rich? Well... I sure would miss my mom and my dad. Hey, where's mom? Sorry, I had to go put another quarter in the parking meter. Oh, it was the last quarter I had to. Well, maybe I can find another one under the couch cushion. <laughs> maybe we could save up and bring the girls back to the ice cream shop one other time this summer. That would be so nice. As much as being rich would be amazing, I sure would miss my mom and dad and sister. Really, Molly? You, you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to be rich? Nah. Not if I couldn't be rich with you guys. And you guys, well, are poor. So I'm going to stay being a family with you guys. Oh, Molly, that's amazing. And when I grow up, I'm going to do something awesome, like be a doctor, or a rocket scientist or something. And I'm going to make sure that I buy us all a really nice house. Oh, Molly, you don't have to do that. But you're such a sweetheart for saying it. Yeah, no money can buy an amazing family. And mine sure does love me a whole lot. Hi there, fellow Brookhaven residents. It's Susie Q coming live to you from WBRE on the streets of Brookhaven. I'm in front of Town Hall right now, guys, and you would not believe what the mayor just decreed. Guys, I have it firsthand right from the mayor tomorrow is pajama day that's right all of brookhaven once a year will have to wear pajamas he's tired of it not being comfortable uh at least one day a week you know the guy has to wear suits every single day 365 days a year so one day a year he just wants to wear his comfy pajamas so much so that you'll be arrested if you don't wear your pajamas tomorrow so don't get caught out on the streets of Brookhaven without your comfy, cozy, lazy jammies. Holy guacamole, did you guys hear that? Tomorrow is pajama day? Oh my gosh, well, I guess the people that always wear their pajamas to Walmart will be happy. <laughs> oh, I guess I'm going to have a really busy day tomorrow at the police station. I bet there's going to be a lot of people I have to arrest. Is that even legal? I mean, how can they arrest you for wearing not wearing pajamas? I don't know, but I better go wash some laundry because I don't have any clean pajamas for tomorrow. Ugh, laundry smondry. I'll just wear the ones I wear to bed tonight. Sounds like a good idea to me. 
Ew, Molly. What? They'll be clean. Ish. Ah, what a beautiful day. And look, I don't even have to do anything in my morning routine because I'm already wearing what I'm going to be wearing for the entire day. Pajama day. <laughs> don't you wish you had pajama day in your town? Oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm supposed to wear today. I mean, do I wear my police uniform because I'm supposed to show that I'm a cop or do I wear pajamas because, because we're supposed to all wear pajamas. I mean, I don't want to have to arrest myself. Well, I guess I will have to wear my police uniform. I mean, I don't know. Hey, where's your pajamas? You're going to get arrested. Oh my gosh. Those, well, the, those might be his pajamas. I don't know. Seems like the town is just going crazy. People are jumping on top of cars and 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 that guy was wearing demon horns. I don't know. It's more like Halloween than pajama day. I don't know if this is a good idea. I bet dad's going to be working overtime arresting people today. Go figure. When you are supposed to wear your pajamas, you don't want to. And when you're not supposed to, like when you go to the store or anywhere else, um, like when you're supposed to wear real pants, you're wearing your pajamas. Whoa, house fire reported at residence number 15. Oh no, I hope they're okay. Maybe their pajamas caught fire. I think that's what happens when you fart in your pajamas. <laughs> oh no, not another person that's not wearing their pajamas. Don't you know today's pajama day? Yeah, so you can't tell me what to wear. Um, the mayor decreed it. We all had to wear our pajamas. Besides, it's not so bad. They're pretty comfy cozy. I don't feel comfortable wearing my pajamas outside. I'm not doing it. Hold it right there. Dad? Hey, Molly, just stop doing my job. Um, you're arrested. What? You're not a police officer. You wear your uniform. You're wearing your pajamas. I don't believe you. Oh, boy, this could be bad. Uh, actually, I am a police officer. I'm just following the rules like everyone else, setting a good example for the residents of Brookhaven. Now, as you can see, I'm wearing my badge. You're still wearing pajamas. How unprofessional. All right, uh, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. Whoa, never got to see Dad arrest anybody before. This is amazing. Put down the Starbrooks. You're under arrest. Get in the back of the seat. And don't say anything without your lawyer present. That's my advice to you. Um, okay, Dad. Well, bye. See you, Molly. Have a good day. Make sure you stay in your pajamas. Okay. Whoa. Dad is really taking this pajama day thing seriously. Oh, my stomach's starting to crumble. I'm going to head over to the grocery store and see if I can find something delicious. Let's see. Where's my favorite candy bar? No, no, no. Oh, my gosh. They have Reese's, but they don't have any... OMG, no Kit Kats? Are you serious? Okay, that's fine. I'll just go to the mall. They probably have some there. I can't believe this mall doesn't have a Kit Kat anywhere in it. Who ate all the Kit Kats? Oh my gosh, I can't find a pair of pajamas. What am I going to do? I mean, does this look like pajamas? Uh, no, it doesn't. Oh my gosh, I'm going to get arrested. Hey, wait a minute. You have pajamas on. Uh, yeah, I got these from home. Where are your pajamas? Um, I don't usually sleep in pajamas. Ew! What do you mean? I mean, I don't sleep in pajamas. Ew! Gross! I sort of get what you're saying. Yeah, so, um, can I have your pajamas? A, no. B, they won't fit you. You're too big. Well, I could try to squeeze into them, and guess what? I have a Kit Kat bar. Say what? Say that again? I have a Kit Kat bar. Okay, we can switch clothes. But hopefully I don't get arrested or anything. It'll be worth it though for the Kit Kat bar. Hand it over. Hey, g g give me your outfit. No, uh, it's too big. It won't fit you. Ah! Okay, well, I can't stand here in my underwear. <laughs> I gotta put on some clothes and stat. Hey, wait. You didn't even give me the Kit Kat bar. Oh my gosh. He just lied to me. Oh man, I look ridiculous. I look so ridiculous. All right, hopefully dad doesn't see me or any other cop. Uh-oh, oh God, there's dad. Okay, I gotta hide, I gotta hide. Hold it right there. I see you're not wearing your pajamas. Um, I was just getting them, uh. Too late, 
You're arrested. Turn around. Let me see your face. Molly? Where's your pajamas? Um, Dad, it's a long story, but please don't arrest me. You are going to have to be arrested, Molly. Tell me what's going on. Now, uh, this guy... Okay, first of all, I said I wanted a Kit Kat. This guy said he had a Kit Kat if I would trade him outfits, and he wanted my pajamas. He was going to give me his regular clothes. Where's his pajamas? He wasn't wearing any. Why not? Because he didn't own any pajamas. Well, where did he sleep in? Um, I don't know. Ew, gross. Everybody needs pajamas. I know. Tell me about it. Anyway, the Kit Kat was worth it, Dad. I wanted a Kit Kat. Then I was just going to go home and get a different pair of pajamas, all the while eating that delicious chocolate. And so what happened? He took the clothes and the Kit Kat and my pajamas and ran out of here. Oh my gosh, Molly. That's terrible. But you're still arrested. What? Can't I just go home and get some new pajamas? You're my dad. How can you arrest me? It's the law, Molly. Today's pajama day. Now get in the back of the police car. You're under arrest. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. My own dad arrested me on, on pajama day. Pajama day is ridiculous. I hate pajama day. Well, you can hate it all you want, but the mayor loves it. I don't like it. Do you like it, dad? I'm not allowed to say. I'm in police officer mode right now, but I'll tell you later when we get home. You think it's ridiculous. Okay. Into the jail cell with you, Molly. Seriously, Dad? You're really arresting me? Molly, you're not even wearing shoes. I know. It's not my fault. Um, do I get a phone call? Who are you going to call? I'm your dad. I'm going to call Mom and tell her you arrested me. Uh, I think that's a bad idea. You have to give me one call! Let me out of here! I'll give you your call later. <laughs> when pajama day is over. Dad! D dad! Oh! My gosh, I can't believe Pajama Day ended up with me in a jail cell. I don't like Pajama Day! <music> woohoo! Woohoo! I can't wait till my friend gets here. And I guess my sister can come along. <laughs> what? Molly, you have to invite me because, well, well, I'm amazing. Actually, correction, I had to invite you because, well... You're my sister, and Mom said so. Is that the only reason you invited me? I thought it was because you thought I was cool. Uh, no. Not even a little bit. Molly! <laughs> did you bring a pet unicorn along? I totally did. Sparkles wanted to know what it was like to come to the water park. Hey, guys, I heard you're famous. It's amazing. Well, uh, I guess we're kind of famous. We could sign autographs if you want. Hey guys, are you signing Star Squad autographs again every time we go out in public? This is exactly what happens. Rookie! <laughs> yeah, um, my fans, you know, kind of follow me wherever I go. It's okay, um, I'm just excited that you invited me to the water park today. Molly, Daisy, you're my favorite fan. You mean, wait, uh, wait, I'm confused. I think she means she's a favorite fan. <laughs> ah, you're standing on my head! <laughs> Our fans are crazy! <laughs> I was in the water for so long, I turned blue. Whoa! Do you need me to call 911? No, I'm just gonna do a lot of jumping up and down. Ah! <laughs> Someone shot a water gun at me. Ow! Ow, 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 ow! Rude! Oh, he's still coming over here. Okay, I gotta run. Did you get hit by that huge water gun? Totally did. Where's our fans? Ah! You threw me in the water! I'm not even wearing a bathing suit yet! Okay, this is getting a little out of hand right now. Melly, why is there so many bullies at the water park? I don't know. There's one right there. Ah! He's beating me with a... Oh, no, no! Get the star creator? Are you serious right now? Okay, I'm just gonna play dead. Ah! Stop hitting me with the pool noodle! It's rude! Okay, I'm getting back in the pool. You guys can't get me. I may use the power of the unicorn on you. Ah! Stop it! Okay, guys. This is just rude. I, I'm i trying to hang out with my friend and my sister. And you guys are... Ah! Trying to hit me with a pool noodle! Okay. I'm going to get a pool noodle of my own if you don't knock it off. Actually, you know what I could do, guys? I'll just say... Power of the unicorn! With their sparkly horn! Okay, unicorn. Help you can help me with against these bullies, but um, if not, I'm just gonna hide in the cafe. Oh my gosh, he found me! All right, don't be rude, okay? 
I'm just here to have fun. Oh my gosh, Molly, are you okay? That guy was hitting you with the pool noodle like a million times. Are you okay? Because you're still blue from being in the pool. Maybe you should get a towel and warm up. Good idea. <laughs> I just love being in the pool so much. I don't care if I'm freezing. Okay, enough hitting me with that, okay? It's not nice. Molly, come on, let's get on some water slides. Sounds like the perfect idea, Brookie. Where'd my sister go? She probably got hit by a pool noodle, and she's probably crying about it. I hope not. Brookie Cookie, I love when you're on the channel. Whoa, there's so many bullies in here today and so many fans. All right, let's go find Daisy and go down a water slide. Silence, he's in quiet, with no bullies shooting me with water guns or trying to hit me with pool noodles. Except for a fan is jumping on my head. <laughs> Come on, Sparkles. Let's go down a water slide. Have you ever been down one before? Oh, you've been down one like one other time, but not this one. This one's amazing. Um, I have to wait for my friend, though, and my sister. Can I go down with you guys? Can I hang out with you? Please, 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 please. Yeah, sure. You can totally come down with us. I'm here, guys. I'm here. Let's go down this water slide. Me first. Whee! Me second. Whoa! <laughs> this one's crazy. Whoa! Molly, this is so much fun. I love the water park. Oh, Molly, you ran into me. Watch out where you're going. Sorry, I'm trying not to run into you. Uh, 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 uh. Hey! Oh my gosh, no! The guy with the water gun is up here. Whoa! Don't worry, Molly. I've got a water gun of my own. You do? Yeah, I spent a lot of Robux on it, too. Splash! <laughs> oh my gosh. That was so much fun. Did your unicorn like it, Molly? She totally did. Guys, I have to tell you something really scary. What is it? Hold on. Someone's shooting at me again. Wait, where'd she go? Um, I have to tell you that uh, Annabelle is here. Annabelle? Annabelle? Who's that? You guys should go home to Brookhaven immediately. Well, what's wrong with what's wrong with this Annabelle? She's dangerous. Dangerous? Why? And um, I just realized that I never put on a bathing suit. Uh oh. <laughs> Who cares about that, Molly? Listen to me. I'm trying to save you and the entire Star Squad from her. Go back to Brookhaven. Play Brookhaven. Get out of the water park while you still can. Um, were you trying to run away for dramatic effect? Yeah. We have to run away from me then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Bye. <laughs> okay, that was kind of funny. I don't know what she's talking about with this Annabelle. She's probably totally nice and totally cool. You should stop hitting people with the pool noodle. It's rude. Oh, my sister is totally trying to police everybody at the water park. Ah! Okay, who, who is this person? Emerald Destruction. This is not funny anymore. Not funny! Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard it, but are you going to answer my question? Are you a YouTuber? Uh, yeah, I am. <laughs> I'm totally a YouTuber. Oh my god, she's a YouTuber! Okay, guys. No need to get all crazy on me. Red light, green light. Oh my gosh, there's Annabelle. I told you about her. Okay, who wants to get hit with my snow, um, snow maker, blow dryer thing? I don't, I don't know. Perfect. Rookie? Rookie? Oh. This is getting out of hand. Red light, green light. It's coming from that girl. Is that Annabelle? Hi, Annabelle. I'm Molly. Red light. Green light. Hey, don't hit her. Oh, are you okay, Annabelle? Not really. I'm starting to feel very mad. I came to the water park today to have fun, and everybody keeps hitting me with pool noodles. It's making me angry. Don't get angry. They're just bullies, and, you know, bullies exist, but it's okay. Don't let it get you down, Annabelle. We can always tell the lifeguard. No, you don't understand. You wouldn't like me when I get angry. Look, I want to be your friend, and I want to talk you off the ledge right now of being so full of rage. Like, it's okay. People are just mean sometimes, but don't let it get to you. I'm letting it get to me. I'm letting it get to me. Molly, get out of there. She's, she's dangerous. She's not dangerous. She's just mad because everyone keeps bugging her. 
I am dangerous. Red line. Don't move when I say that. What? I said don't move. Okay, okay, I'm not moving. Green light. Oh, now I can run. Okay, Annabelle, I tried to be your friend. Don't forget about that. Oh, boy. Okay, I'm just going to go sit down for a minute. This day is getting crazier than I thought. All I wanted to do was hang out at the water park. There's all these bullies here. And now there's this psycho person here. I heard that. And I don't like being talked to that way. Now I have to get you. Ah! Annabelle, I'm not your enemy, please. Molly, it's no use. I've heard bad things about Annabelle. She's probably always going to be evil. Annabelle, you don't always have to be evil. Listen to me. I can help you with the power of the unicorn. Mari, what are you doing? You're going to get shot with those laser eyes. Ah! That's it. I am so tired of being hit with a pool noodle. I'm going to destroy you all. Okay, I'm done at the water park. Daisy, come on. We have to go find a water slide or an island or something all by ourselves. <sighs> Daisy, come on. Come on. Daisy? Daisy? Oh, no. Did, did Annabelle get her or one of the bullies? Daisy! Daisy! Where are you? Molly! Molly! Brookie! There you are! Oh my gosh, Brookie, have you seen Daisy? Yeah, Annabelle, she... She zapped her. What? Yeah, she's down for the count, Molly. No! Not Daisy! I mean, she's an annoying sister and all, but I didn't want Annabelle to get her. Oh, hopefully she'll be okay. She was headed toward the, um, the lifeguard station. I'm sure she'll be up if she, you know can survive it what survive it everything's gonna be fine molly we just have to we have to hide out here so that annabelle can't find us well it is pretty nice <laughs> here on this island ah, finally i get some r and r rest and relaxation and my adorable unicorn gets to see what it's like to be at the um water park oh your unicorn is pretty adorable oh, this has been the craziest day ever yeah, but I'm sure Annabelle doesn't know how to get up here. Well, that's a good thing. Green light. Ah, did you just hear that? Molly, don't look now, but Annabelle's here and the bully. What? Oh my gosh. This is the worst water park vacation ever. Green light. You already said green light. Okay, I'm running. Red light. Don't move a muscle, Molly. She'll shoot you with her laser eyes. Ooh, I see somebody moving. Ah, oh my gosh, Brookie, run! <laughs> the bully and, and Annabelle. Okay, I'm never coming to the water park again. This is a bad idea. I'll stay at home forever and hide in my house. <sighs> what is this? Is this like a wishing well? No, it's just empty. There's not even any snacks in there or anything. Red light, green light. I'm out of here. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> ah! Oh my gosh, this slide was amazing! Wait, is Annabelle around here? No. Is there a bully around here? No. Oh, finally. One second of peace and relaxation. Red light. Oh no! I can't believe that Laura's gonna have her baby any day now. She's probably super hungry, so I'll make her a nice dinner. Hmm, I could make her cheeseburgers. I think she loves those. Oh, we can have ice cream for dessert. Perfect. This is the perfect summer dinner. Laura's gonna be so excited. And now she's eating for two. <laughs> Whoa, I better not burn them. Laura would be so sad. Dan, Dan, is dinner almost ready? I'm I'm so hungry. Yeah, it's coming right up, honey. <laughs> Just relax, put your feet up. Being pregnant's not easy. You can say that again. Here you go, my beautiful sweet wife. A cheeseburger, some Sprite, and we even have ice cream for dessert. What? A cheeseburger? But I didn't want a cheeseburger. I wanted spaghetti and meatballs. But... I took all this time to make you dinner. I thought you'd be happy. Look, I even made some fries. Fries! I don't want fries! Holy smokes! Laura! What just happened? What are you even talking about? I didn't do anything. I just have a little bit of heartburn. Ugh. 
I hope this baby is born soon. Laura, I think you better go lay down. I don't think you're feeling very good. I'm feeling just fine. I just need some spaghetti and meatballs. Ah, this day is turning out to be the longest work day ever. Oh, hi, welcome to Brookhaven Grocery Store. If there's anything you need, just let me know. Thank you. Uh, I just, I can't wait until I meet my baby. I'm just buying a bunch of stuff in preparation for her coming home. Oh, you're pregnant. Are you having a girl or a boy? A girl, I'm so excited. I would be too. Well, let me know if you need anything. I'll be right here behind the counter. Sure, thank you. La, 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 la. Okay, let's see. I need some Powerade and I need some apples. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Wait, where's the milk? It's, it's usually in this cooler right here. Oh, I'm sorry. The milkman didn't come in today. Our shipment is running a day late. We should have it tomorrow. Wait, what? You're out of milk? I can't believe it! Whoa! You're b b b b b b breathing f f f f fire! What? No, I'm not. I'm just... I'm feeling a little hot right now. It's very hot in here. Uh, yeah, because you just breathe fire at me like a dragon! What's wrong with you? What? There's nothing wrong with me. This grocery store stinks, though. You don't even have any milk. Uh, sorry, but... Maybe you could try the the Blacksburg grocery store in the next town over? Better idea. Bye. Oh, uh, excuse me. I don't want to go in your cart. Why are you sitting in my cart then? Um, wow. Angry customer. Oh, here comes Laura. L Laura, where's the groceries? I didn't get groceries. Wait, what? But I'm hungry. I told you. I didn't get groceries! Whoa, Laura, there you go, breathing fire again! <sighs> Dan, what, what's got into you? Why are you laying on the floor? Because you tried to breathe fire at me! I think this baby's making you super grumpy. Speaking of baby, my stomach hurts. I think it's time! Laura, uh, it's time? Time for the baby? Seriously? <sighs> Dan, stop freaking out! You have to drive me to the hospital! Our little girl, it's it's time to meet her! Well, I hope when then she gets here, you're done breathing fire, because that was kind of scary. What? I didn't breathe fire. You don't even know you're doing it! It's pretty crazy. Look, I have our bag all packed. All we have to do is get in the car. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Can I get some help over here? Please, please, emergency! What? what? What's going on? My wife, she's about to have a baby! Can someone hurry up? My stomach hurts! Okay, ma'am, just calm down. Calm down? I don't want to calm down! Whoa! What's going on with that? Is she part dragon? I don't know. Oh, she just started doing this the last couple of weeks. Doing what? What are you guys talking about? Hurry up! I'm gonna have my baby! Okay, we'll worry about breathing fire later. First, we have to make sure that this baby arrives into the world safely. Okay, and now I just need you to breathe. I am breathing! <sighs> sort of! <sighs> Miss Laura, I need you to calm down. I'm staying calm! Whoa, there's the fire again! That can't be normal. What's that all about? I don't know. You're the doctor. Why don't you tell us? Well, I've never seen this before. Maybe your wife is part dragon. What? No! Okay, well, I'm going to go get my stethoscope and everything we need because this baby is coming right away. Oh my gosh, Laura. Dan, she's beautiful. Oh my baby. She is so beautiful. Here you go. I'm sure she would like her mommy. Absolutely. I can't wait to hold her. Me either. What are you going to name her? Well, we talked about Molly. Do you still want to name her that, Dan? Yeah, let's do it. Aw. Hi, Molly. It seems like you have some pretty nice parents. <laughs> Whoa! Your baby <laughs> breathes fire! Wait a minute. The baby breathes fire. 
And Laura was breathing fire when she was pregnant. But, but she didn't breathe fire before. There's only one explanation for this, Dan and Laura. The baby made Laura breathe fire because your baby is, a, well, a demon. What? Wait, what? Uh, 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 that can't be right. I'm sorry, guys, but it is. She's definitely a demon. Let me see my baby. I don't believe you. Aw, she's too sweet to be a demon. I don't know how you could ever say such a thing. You're fired as my doctor. But, but I'm just telling you the truth. You heard my wife. You're fired as her doctor. Ah, uh, okay. But I'm definitely going to have to make note of this in the medical journals because I've never, ever... Goodbye, get out! Okay, fine. Ugh, some parents you just can't tell the truth to. Well, I guess I'll have to document this. Today, I helped a woman give birth to a baby demon. Yay! I love this show! It's my favorite! Look at the adorable panda! It's so cute! Oh, I've been cleaning this house all day. Molly, I really need you to pick up your toys and help me clean up a bit, okay? You're getting older now, and you can help. What? No, I don't want to help. No! Molly, come on. You're four years old now. You can start helping Mommy. Don't you want to help Mommy? Uh, yeah, sure. I'll help Mommy. Come here. I want to show you something in the elevator. Oh, really? Is it a surprise? Yeah, I made it just for you, Mom. Go inside. Molly, where did you get that axe? Mo Molly, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm just breaking the elevator, Mom, so you can't get out. Molly! What? Stop that, right? Molly, let me out of here right this instant. Finally, I don't have to deal with my mom nagging me to do anything. And I can watch my episode. Molly, I... Molly, I see you. Molly! Mom, can't hear you. <sighs> Honey, I'm home. Dan, I'm in here! What's that? Wait, Laura, how are you stuck in the elevator? Ask your daughter. She she trapped me in here. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is going to be kind of fun to watch. Molly, did you trap your mom in the elevator? Um, well, uh, yes, she did. Molly! Okay, time out for you. Go sit on the stool. What? I don't want to. Sit on it, Molly. Fine, but I'm standing here. Molly, that was very bad behavior. What's got into you? I don't want to behave. Whoa! Holy smokes! Whoa. Dan, are you going to let me out of here? Dan! Dan! Hey, Molly. Um, Thanks so much for coming on this date with me. Yeah, I I'm glad we could come too. I really have been wanting to come out on a date with you for like the entire school year. You have? Oh, wow, that's really sweet. So, uh, what kind of ice cream did you get? I got bubble gum because they didn't have the one I normally like, which is mint chocolate chip, and it's so annoying! Oh, wow. Uh, sorry about that, Molly. Yeah, it's fine. It's not your fault. Huh, I think I have to go to the bathroom, though. Whoa! Molly, what, what's going on? You grew a, a tail! What? No, I didn't. Don't be ridiculous. Yes, you did. It's like a long, well, demon tail. Um, well, uh, let's get going, Molly. I think I have to go home. Sure, I'll walk with you. Oh, you don't have to do that. No, come on, I want to. Oh, he's going to ask me to prom. I just know it. He's going to ask me. Okay, Luke, I'm ready to go. Okay, see if you can keep up. I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to catch you, Luke. Molly, the, the tail thing is a little weird. I'm sorry, I, I don't know why it's there, but... I'll see the doctor tomorrow. I'm sure it's just some sort of weird growth or something. Oh, yeah, sure. Well, looks like the date is over. <laughs> uh, don't you have anything to ask me, Luke? What? Um, no, I'm sorry, Molly. I don't want to go on a second date. What? You, you don't? Um, no. But you're supposed to ask me to prom! <laughs> oh, Molly, you pushed me in the pool! That's what you get! For not asking me to breathe. Whoa! You breathe fire? You really are a demon! Another day, another dollar. Huh, I've been working at this bank for ten years. I feel like I should get a bigger raise than what they give me every year. Well, what are you gonna do? It's a job. 
Hello, are you even working today? Uh, duh, I'm your customer. Um, yeah, I'm working. I'm actually logging in something into the computer. Jeepers, impatient much? How can I help you? Uh, I have to, uh, take some money off of my savings and put it into my checking. Oh, you know you can do that online, right? I didn't want to do it online. I want to do it here with the bank teller. God, you are so awful at your job. Seriously, how do you still even have one? What? What did you just say to me? I said you're awful at your job. That's not right. What? Why? You put fire at me, demon! That's right. You're a rude customer. I want to know what else. I quit! It's about time everybody in Brookhaven saw my true nature. I'm a demon. Now I'm gonna go get in some demon trouble. Oh yeah. Hmm, what could I do first? Is that a school bus? Ha ha ha! I'm gonna steal it and drive away. None of the kids will have a ride home from school. <laughs> and now I'm gonna crash it into the arcade. <laughs> Crashing it again. Ugh. <laughs> Being a demon is fun. Oh, I'm so old. I can't believe I'm actually dying. How can I be dying? This is terrible. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I have uncontrollable gas. That's what happens when you're old. Hello, Molly. I'm an angel. What? I'm hallucinating now. I'm seeing an angel. Oh, I need to get out of here. No, you're not hallucinating. I'm a real angel. And I'm here to offer you one last chance to turn good. What? Who wants your rotten, stinky chances? Okay, you might not be the stinky one. <coughs> oh, did you just fart? Yeah, what about it? Don't angels ever fart? Um, no, not really. We always smell like roses and sunshine. Wow, sounds boring. What? No, being an angel is amazing. You could turn over from your evil ways before you die. Would you like to? Huh? What? No, not really. What? No, no, you don't understand. You're evil. You, you don't want to die evil, do you? I want to die exactly how I am, myself. But yourself is a demon. I've been a demon my whole life. Yeah, and now I'm giving you the chance to be good, an angel like me. Look at my beautiful wings. Don't they make you kind of jealous? Not really. Are you sure? I mean, look at them. I'm sure. I've got one thing to say to you, Angel. Hopefully it's not another one of those stinky farts. Ew. No, no, no. This is what I have to say to you. Once a demon, always a <laughs> Hey guys, thanks so much for watching our show today, Brooke High. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, the new iPhone. Guys, the new iPhone is amazing. You want to run out to your local electronics store and purchase it right now. Whoa, Daisy, did you hear that? Brittany says we should get the new iPhone. I know, she's such a star. I love her. <sighs> but I haven't saved up enough money yet for the iPhone. That's okay, I know what to do. Mom! Molly, I'm right here. <laughs> you know the downstairs is all one room, right? Yeah, but Mom, I have a question. Uh, please stop crawling on the counter, Molly. I can't afford a new one. Uh, sorry, Mom. I'm just really excited. She's gonna say no. Uh, Daisy, shh! I haven't even asked her yet. Mom, Mom, Mom. Beautiful, Mommy! Okay, Molly, what is it? Spit it out. You are the most radiant, amazing mom on the entire planet. What do you want, Molly? Nothing. Just saying, you're amazing. Mm, I think you probably are going to ask me for something. Okay, um, you know how on Brook High they have the brand new iPhones? Uh, yes, Molly, but that's because they got them for free because that is the show that's like most popular right now, so iPhone just gives them to them. Yeah, I know, but, uh, I want the new iPhone too. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's a big ask, Molly. 
Um, I, I, I don't think that I can afford that right now. I'm really sorry. What? But, but mom, my old phone is like a flip phone. It's so old. I'm pretty sure the dinosaurs called each other on my phone. Well, Molly, just be thankful you actually have a phone. A lot of girls your age don't have a phone at all. Yeah, Molly, try to be appreciative. Mm, this apple's delicious, Mom. Ugh, can't believe it. I can't get the new iPhone. I could have told you that, Molly. Duh. I cannot believe that I just won a bazillion dollars. What's the first thing you're going to buy? Uh, a new laptop, of course. They're also our sponsor for this video. Oh, my gosh. Now the stars from Rags to Riches are getting new um, iPads. I definitely want one of those or a new laptop. Ooh, I could use that for school. I'm going to go ask Mom. Uh, yeah, good luck with that. I already asked for a new iPhone, and she said no. But this is for school. It's necessary. My laptop keeps freezing. Mom! Yes, Daisy, what is it? Dinner's going to be ready soon. My laptop keeps freezing whenever I try to do my schoolwork. Oh, man. We're going to have to take it into Best Buy then, and maybe they can figure out why. No, Mom, you don't understand. This this computer is so old, I can't use it anymore. Um, well, we're going to have to make it work because uh, I can't afford a new one right now. Even with all the overtime at work, I have to pay the mortgage and the car payment and... Even your dad's mowing the grass instead of hiring someone else to do it. We have to all pitch in during this rough time. But mom, I need a new iPad or a new laptop to do my schoolwork. Daisy, I told you we could go to the Best Buy and see if they can fix your laptop. But, but, told you Daisy. I knew she wasn't going to say yes. Hey, what happened to TV? Oh, I'm so tired from mowing that grass. It's like a thousand degrees outside. Ah! Dad, I'm so sorry you're dying, but what happened to cable? I need TV. Oh, your mother and I canceled that so we could save some money. What? No! No new iPhone, no new laptop, and no cable? I can't take this anymore. I've got to get out of here. I'm coming with you, Molly. Girls, wait a minute. If you're going out, I need something from the grocery store. Oh, really? We've got to go do an errand? Yes, Molly, please. I I need some eggs so I can finish what I'm making for dinner. Okay, fine. Can I buy a candy bar? No, Molly. Of course you can't. You don't have enough money for that. But I want a candy bar. No, Molly. I need eggs. Don't buy a candy bar with that money. Okay, Mom. Fine. Come on, Daisy. Oh, I don't like being poor. Being poor stinks! I agree, Molly. I agree. Now remember what Mom said, Molly. No buying a candy bar as much as you want it. Well, hello there. Welcome to my grocery store. Hi. Um, I only have enough money for some eggs. Where are those? Uh, back right-hand corner. Hey, Luke. What's up? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, uh, working at the grocery store tonight. The lottery is up to 100. What? The lottery is up to a hundred million dollars? I'm never going to the grocery store again! And it's said that the winning ticket is in Brookhaven? Holy guacamole! I'm yeah, I'm gonna buy some tickets. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna yeah, it's gonna be awesome if I win. I'm gonna move to the beach. I'm never gonna work at the grocery store again! Daisy, did you hear that? Hear what, Molly? The sound of my stomach growling? I hope dinner's ready when we get home. No, the grocery store worker. He said that the lotto was up to a hundred million dollars. Holy guacamole! He also said the winning ticket is at one of these stores in Brookhaven. Wow, that's insane. Whoever wins is going to be really lucky. Now let's get the eggs and go home. I'm hungry. Don't you see, DC? We gotta buy the winning ticket. How are we going to do that, Molly? Don't be ridiculous. We're going to do it because we're going to use this $3 to buy the winning lotto ticket. What? No, we're not. We have to use that for eggs. Yeah, but if we buy the winning lotto ticket, we won't have to worry about eggs. We could buy a bazillion eggs. Molly, how do you know you're going to buy the winning ticket? Um, well, um, I don't know. I'm just having faith it's all going to work out. What's going to happen is you're going to spend that $3. We're going to go home and there's not going to be any dinner. You could be grounded for a week. Well, Daisy, I'm buying the lotto ticket. Molly, you're not going to buy the lotto ticket. D 
PJ, let me out of this car. Don't, don't you dare. Get, let me out of this car. I'm buying it. I'm buying it, Daisy. Get back here, Molly. You're not spending mom's money. I am spending mom's. Daisy, did you seriously just put me back in the car? Daisy, I'm not three years old. Stop it. Are you going to act more mature about the money mom gave you? Yes, I will buy the eggs. Are you sure? Yep. Come on, let's go over and get them right now. <laughs> I'd like the um, winning lotto ticket, please. Well, there's no way I know if you're going to actually get the... Just sell me the ticket. Okay, fine. Here you go. Molly, no! You spent the money on a lotto ticket, naughty! Naughty, you're grounded. Daisy, I'm not your kid. Stop putting me in the... Stop putting me in the cart! Fine, Molly, you're so naughty. I don't even want you in my cart. This is all your fault. I don't even know you. You're dead to me. Oh my gosh, my sister's so annoying. Good luck with that ticket. You know, I'm going to buy the winning lottery ticket. Okay, fine. We'll see about that. Hey, Daisy, where's the eggs so I can finish up making dinner? Uh, ask Molly about that. I had nothing to do with this, Mom. I cannot be blamed. Mom, Mom, guess what? Um, you were able to get a two-for-one deal on the eggs? And then we can have her for breakfast in the morning, too. No, Mom, I spent the money on something else. What? I told you not to buy a candy bar. I needed those eggs, Molly. This is what feeds our family. What were you thinking? You're grounded. What? No, I can't be grounded. I didn't buy a candy bar. Then what did you buy? A lottery ticket. What? You gambled with our money? Are you crazy right now? Oh, that makes me so mad, Molly. But you don't even know if it's a winner. Go to your room, Molly. Go right now. Fine. Well, Molly, that worked out real well. But when I scratch it off and everybody sees I'm a winner, Molly, you're not going to win. Well, let's find out. Daisy! Oh my gosh! Oh, Molly, what is it? Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh! Molly, are you pranking me right now? What's going on? I, 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 Molly, stop talking gibberish. What's wrong with you? Did you bonk your head? What's going on? Oh my gosh. Is that a is that a winning lottery ticket for a hundred million dollars, Daisy? Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. I'll come back to you when you're actually awake. Mom! 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 Molly, I can't talk to you right now, okay? I'm really stressed about money, and I don't have any eggs to feed you guys, and I'm just really worried. I'm going to have to take another job, I think, if I can even get one. Mom, your problems are over. What are you talking about? That lotto ticket that I got? It, it's a winner. What, for like a free ticket or something? How's that going to help us? Mom, no, it's it's the big winner. A hundred million dollars what L let me see that oh my gosh ah! oh my gosh is there anybody in this house that hasn't passed out where's dad hey everybody we want to we met we met we won 100 million dollars all of our troubles are over dad what exactly are you doing it's the day we're supposed to move into our new mansion i'm just so excited I can't stop dancing. I can't stop dancing. Is that a new song you wrote, Dad? Yeah, I'm thinking about becoming a musician now that I don't have to have a job. I can't stop dancing. This is my signature dance move. Uh, Dad, it's just weird. Nope, nope, nope. Raise a roof, raise a roof. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, Dad. You're even weirder when you're rich. Well, I'm allowed to be weird. I have all the money in the world! Let's move these moving boxes to our new mansion. Oh boy, my dad is so crazy right now. Ah, now this is the life I was talking about. No one wanted to believe that my winning lotto ticket would actually be, well, a winner. But look where we are now. I have to agree, Molly, I thought you were insane, but this place is, well, amazing. It's off the hook. And, um, 
I'm really glad you bought that winning lotto ticket, Molly. Am I still grounded then, Dad? Oh, uh, that's a difficult one to answer. Go ask your mother. Come on, Daisy, come see my new sports car. I've got one of my own, Molly. Whoa! Okay, yeah, I want to ride in yours. That's just because you can't drive, Molly, and I'm a better driver. No, you're not. I'm a fine driver. Uh huh, sure. Says the girl who put Mom's car on the lake. Okay, that was a little bit of a mistake. You think, cheapos? Oh my gosh, Daisy. We have so much nice stuff now. Like, we've got a mansion. We've got nice cars. We have amazing clothes. We have, we have, the newest iPhones. What are we gonna do with all this money that's left over? I don't know, Molly. What, what do you think we should do with it? Hmm. Dizzy, I think I have the perfect idea. What are you doing, Molly? Why are you going over there by the dumpsters? I just saw something when we were driving by. Oh, I'm so hungry. I hope this dumpster food doesn't make me sick. Ew! Why are you eating from the dumpster? That's disgusting. Um, you could go to the dino. They have regular food. Daisy, he's eating from the dumpster because he doesn't have any money. Oh, wow, that's really sad because I still have like 90 million dollars and... Daisy! Probably not a good idea to tell him that you have tons of money while he's sitting here eating from the dumpster. Sorry, I guess I just get a little nervous when I don't know what to say or do. Well, I know exactly what to do. Hey, I've got something for you here. Whoa. Uh, seriously? Yeah, there's like, um, $500,000 here. What? F five five hundred thousand dollars Yeah, it's enough to buy you a small house. <laughs> oh my god, did he die? Ah, the homeless man died! No, I just can't move. Partially because I just got $500,000, and partially because I ate something rotten from the dumpster. Oh, my stomach hurts. Yeah, you don't have to eat from the dumpster ever, ever again. How could I ever repay you? Huh, I can't wait to go to my own house where I have a bathroom, because I'm probably going to have to throw up. Oh, man, that stinks. Yeah, don't eat from a dumpster ever again. Here's $500,000. You could buy food and everything you need. Oh, there was there was this work truck I wanted to get because I'm super good at construction and I wanted to start fixing stuff up and, and, and now I can afford to start my own business. I'll never be homeless again. How could I ever thank you? What's your name? Come on, Daisy. Don't even tell him our name. Let's just do it and be good Samaritans. Molly, look at the orphanage. It really looks a bit fun town. Maybe we could donate some money to them too. That's a great idea, Daisy. Let's do this. Hi, are you my mommy? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm just a teenager. I can't be your mommy. Oh, I really need a mommy. This place is really run down. Oh, I'm sorry, but look, my sister and I are going to um give the orphanage $2 million, and it's going to be a lot nicer for you, okay? Are you sure? Are you sure it'll be nicer? Yep, until your mommy or daddy comes to find you. Aw, uh, thanks so much. We're just gonna leave the bag of cash right here. Hello, can I help you? You two are a bit young to be adopting. But I see that our little Kelly really loves you. Aw, she's super nice. Maybe I could volunteer here sometime. Anyway, we have something we'd like to give you. Two million dollars. Wait, what? Haha, <laughs> very funny. Is that Monopoly money? No, it's real money. We won the lottery, but we don't need all this money, so we're giving some to you. Seriously? Yeah, please use it for the orphanage and make it a nice place for all the kids. Oh my gosh, the kids right now are out on the playground, except for little Kelly. She kind of didn't want to go out today. She just wanted to hang out inside. They're going to be so excited when they come in and they see this money. And I can tell them we're going to buy new toys and we only have one crib here for all the kids. What? That's horrible. Yeah, everybody's been sleeping on those mats on the floor over there. Every kid deserves to have their own bed. I couldn't agree more. Thank you, girls. This means the world. You're welcome. Bye, Kelly. I follow you. You could be my mommy. Sorry, Kelly. But I could come back next week and maybe I could be your big sister. I love that. Yeah, come back. Hello, this is Molly. Hello, Molly. This is the mayor of Brookhaven. I'd like for you to come down to the courthouse.
Um, look, if this is about me driving my mom's car into the pool, I'm really sorry. What? You you were the one that did that? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, never mind. I didn't say anything. Please come over to the courthouse right away. Okay, I'll, I'll tell my sister now. Come on, Daisy, we have to go to the courthouse. For what, Molly? I don't know. I hope we're not in trouble. Me too, Molly, me too. Well, here's the mayor's office. Here goes nothing. H hello Hello, Molly. Nice to see you. Um, if you're going to give me detention, my teacher does that enough. <laughs> I'm not going to give you detention, but I am going to wait for your sister Daisy to get here, because this is for both of you. Oh, gosh. What kind of trouble are we in? I have to give my mom a heads up. What'd she do now? Why are you assuming it was just me, Daisy? Because, Molly, I'm an angel and you're the demon. What? Actually, I think you're both angels. <laughs> really? Why? Well... I've been told that the two of you have been donating large sums of money to people in need. Seriously? You, you heard about that? The mayor? I sure did, and I want to let you know that you guys have won Citizen of the Year of Brookhaven. We usually only pick one person, but since you both helped, we're going to pick two this year. Whoa! That's amazing! What do we get for it? You get these trophies. They're made out of solid gold. Whoa! And you get free ice cream from the ice cream shop downstairs for the entire year. Oh my god, that's amazing! I mean, we still have millions of dollars, so we could just buy ice cream, but that's the thought that counts. We don't need any rewards, Mr. W Mayo. We just wanted to do it because it was the right thing to do. Well, I can tell you that you girls are quite amazing. I'm very proud of you. Wow! Hey, uh, one thing money can't buy is, um, a get-out-of-detention-free card for the year. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't have that kind of power of the teacher. Oh, man! In this Brookhaven mini-movie, Daisy is sick of being a nerd. She wishes that she could be a popular cheerleader, and her wish comes true. But will being a cheerleader make her truly happy? Watch to the end of this video to see the crazy ending. And guys, don't forget to slam that like button and comment in the comment section below this video. We read all of your comments, guys. Today's shout out goes to Hasana O, who says, I love these mini movies. Thank you so much. You guys are amazing fans. Daisy, 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 Daisy. Molly, why are you being so loud right now? Can't you see I'm busy? Daisy, we have to go in the pool. Why do we have to go in the pool, Molly? Because it's so nice outside, and it's just, it's a perfect day to go in the pool. Daisy, put that book down. It's right in front of my face. How rude. Molly, I'm busy studying. I have to get a good grade on the math test tomorrow because I have to be a part of the math elites. The math elites are the best math students in the entire town and i'm going to be the head of them but daisy it's so nice out i don't care molly i have to do my homework now go away fine you don't know what you're missing it's gonna be amazing i'm gonna be in the pool molly shh stop singing about it jeepers ah this is the life ah daisy doesn't know what she's missing by studying all the time boring well, who am I going to play Marco Polo with? I guess I'll play with my invisible friend. Marco! Okay, invisible friend. Are you out of the pool? Fish out of water! Oh, I wish I could go out to the pool. It is a really nice day outside. I'm stuck in here studying again. Okay, Daisy, don't think like that. You are the best nerd on the planet. You're going to get on to mathletes, and you're going to take over the world. Yeah, at least that's what I keep telling myself anyway. Maybe just another hour of studying and I'll be prepared for this test. Oh, sometimes it feels like all I do is homework and study. Study and homework. Daisy, are you still studying for that math test? It's already been like 24 hours. You're going to get a good grade. Molly, there's no way of knowing that. There's no way of knowing. 
Daisy, you're the biggest nerd I know. There's a way of knowing. Oh, look who it is. Losers. Nerd number one and nerd number two. Uh, correction? I get detention and I don't get hundreds on my tests. I am definitely not a nerd. Yeah, she's not a nerd. Well, you are, right? Um, yeah, sort of. I mean, I get good grades and stuff. Well, that sounds lame. I mean, yesterday at cheerleading practice, we had such a good time. Really? You you did? Yeah, it was so much fun. And then the entire team afterwards went for pizza. Whoa, pizza? That's amazing. If I could be a cheerleader, I totally would just for the pizza. Of course you would, Molly. Wow, cheerleading sounds so cool. It totally is, but you'd never make it because you're a loser nerd. What? But but I could be on the cheerleading squad, I think. No, not even a chance. You're a loser. <laughs> loser nerd. Loser nerd. What? Why is she saying that? <laughs> Daisy! Oh my gosh, we're going to be late for English class. Ah, Daisy... I can't believe I actually beat my sister to class for once. Looks like I beat everybody. <laughs> well, at least I won't get detention today. I'm so tired of being a nerd. Everybody's always mean to me about it. I work so hard on my schoolwork and, and then all I get is picked on. <laughs> I wish, I wish I could go from being a nerd to a cheerleader. <laughs> Did somebody say, I wish? What? Who, who are you? <laughs> Don't be silly. You know who I am, right? Uh, no. I have no idea. You disappeared out of thin air. Well, Daisy, I'm your fairy godmother. Wait, wait, wait. I have a fairy godmother? That's right. <laughs> well, where were you when I was taking that English test last week and I got a B? I wished for it then, too. Well, you didn't say out loud, I wish. Oh, is that all I have to do? I also wish for a million bucks. Um, one wish at a time, Daisy. One wish at a time. Now, you're thinking you want to be a cheerleader instead of a nerd, is that right? Yes, I really want it. Yep, yep, yep. Um, are you sure you want to wish? Sometimes what we think we want isn't actually what we want. We have to be careful what we wish for. Wishes can go very crazy. I know what I want, okay? I'm a headstrong person. I know what I want. Okay, well then, all you have to do is say the magic words. What are they? <laughs> Hint, they start with, I wish. Okay, um, I wish... I could be a popular cheerleader. Your wish is my command. Whoa, I'm a cheerleader. Not just any cheerleader, the cheerleading captain. Whoa, Sarah used to be the cheerleading captain. She's not going to be happy about this. Well, this is what fairy godmothers do. <laughs> Have fun being the cheerleading captain. Bye. Go figure. The one time I'm early for class, the teacher is late. Oh, the teacher said he got stuck in the rain. His car wouldn't start. Oh, well, looks like English class is canceled. Woohoo! Hey, everybody. Whoa, Daisy, are you the cheerleading captain? No, I'm the cheerleading captain. Well, where's your cheerleading outfit then, Sarah? What do you mean, where is it? I'm wearing it. Uh, no, you're not. What? What, what, what happened to my cheerleading captain outfit? Why is she wearing it? Um, because she's the cheerleading captain. What? No! How did this happen? She's a total nerd! Not anymore! Looks like she's the most popular girl in school. She's the cheerleading captain. No! Well, I'll take, um, I'll take time to sign autographs after class, okay, everyone? Okay, <laughs> I'm going to be the first one to get one, and um, maybe you'd like to go to prom with me? Luke! What? She's just so pretty, and she's popular, and she's a cheerleading captain. I can't help it. Of course I'll go to the prom with you. 
Daisy, Luke's supposed to go with me. Actually, Molly, he's going with me. He already asked. What? Ugh! This is the worst day ever. How did you become the cheerleading captain anyway? A little bit of magic and a lot of luck. Well, that's the end of English class. Time for the math test. I'm going to ace this. I studied so hard. Well, I'm probably going to fail because I sat by the pool. Good morning, everyone. Uh, are you all ready for the math test? Daisy, I'm sure you are. Totally, Mr. Smith. Um, I think I'm ready, but uh, I can't really concentrate because all I can think about is how beautiful Daisy is. O-M-G! Stop talking about how beautiful my sister is. Literally, I'm going to throw up. Okay, class, it's time for your test. No talking, no cheating, no looking on anybody else's papers, no breathing! We can't breathe? Whoa, harsh. <sighs> Molly, what are you doing? I'm taking a deep breath. I'm going to need it if I can't breathe for the next 30 minutes. I was just kidding about the breathing part. <laughs> but no talking! Okay, Mr. Smith, you take this very seriously. Oh my gosh, I don't know the answer to problem number one. Okay, just move on to problem number two, and you can come back to problem number one. I don't know the answer to problem number two, either. I, I don't know the answer to any of these, but I did yesterday. Oh my gosh, when I was turned from a nerd into a cheerleader, I got super dumb. Oh no. Okay, class, time's up. Daisy, I bet you got a hundred. Um, Mr. Smith, I don't feel so good. Let me see your test, Daisy, and I'll grade it right now. I can't wait to call you the captain of the mathletes. Wait, are you the new captain of the cheerleading squad? Uh, yeah, I'm super popular and stuff. Uh, Daisy, um, all of these answers are incorrect. You got an F. What? I, I don't know what happened. I studied so hard, Mr. Smith, I promise. This is crazy. I'm very sorry, Daisy, but you cannot be on the mathletes this year. What? No! Wait a minute. Why do I care? I'm so popular. I'm the cheerleader who cares about nerdy mathletes. See you later. I don't even need math class. Daisy, wait. I'm going to have to give you detention. Daisy! Uh, Molly, why are you sitting in your desk backwards? Um, uh, no reason. She's staring at me again. Make her stop. Luke, I, I thought we were, we were, you know, best friends. We we're going to go to prom together. I only have eyes for Daisy now. Huh, this is the craziest day ever! Ah! Well, the good news is, Molly, you got a B-plus on your test! Well, I actually did good for a change. <sighs> hey, Daisy! Something really weird is going on here. What do you mean, Molly? I can't talk to you right now. I'm talking to the cheerleading squad. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Daisy, wh since when have you been a cheerleader? If you're such a great cheerleader, show me a cheer. Okay, fine, I'll show you a cheer. I am the cheerleading captain, which makes me the best at this level. Well, let's see it then. Whoa! Daisy, that's impressive! I know, right? It should make me really happy, but it's... it's not. Being a cheerleader isn't making you happy? Even though you're super popular and the best one in the world? That's right, Molly, it's... It's just making me feel hollow inside. I... I miss being a nerd. What? Really? Yeah, but I've gone and messed everything up now. I... I made a wish to my fairy godmother and... And she turned me from a nerd to a cheerleader. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. You have a fairy godmother? And you wish to become a cheerleader? That's right. Yep and yep. Why would you wish for that? You could have wished for a million bucks or, or no more school or, or or to be on vacation permanently. And you wish to be a cheerleader? That's the lamest wish I've ever heard of. Well, I'm sorry. She's my fairy godmother and I get to choose the wishes, Molly. Oh, my gosh. What a lame wish. I can't even believe it. I can't even believe it. Can we stop talking about my wish for a minute? I have to find the fairy godmother so I can turn this back. Well, do you think she'll give me a wish? No, Molly, she's not your fairy godmother. Of course she won't. Well, then why did you wish for, for what you wished for? Stop yelling, Molly. Ay, ay, ay. Everybody in the school is going to know about it. Oh, my goodness. Ah. <sighs> 
Okay, Daisy, I'll help you find your fairy godmother. You will, Molly? That's so nice of you. Yeah, if you wish next for a million bucks and then give it to me. Molly! Okay, fine. I'll help you find her. I don't know where she could be. The last time I saw her was in the girls' bathroom. Oh, that's a weird place for a fairy godmother to hang out. She was there because I was in there, Molly, crying and sad. Daisy, who cares what Sarah or anyone else thinks? You, you just be you, seriously. Being you is the best thing you could be. Aww. You're a nerd, but who cares? You're amazing, you're smart, and you're beautiful, and you're nice. Well, for the most part, sometimes you're rude to me. That's because you're annoying sometimes. Not the point, Daisy. All right, you're right, Molly. It does feel hollow inside to be somebody that I'm not. I should be myself, right? Absolutely. Now, come on. I have an idea of where the fairy godmother might be. Well, Molly. <laughs> well, if I was a fairy godmother, I'd want to eat ice cream all day. Oh, man, it's raining. Let's see if I can find my umbrella. Oh, my God, did I forget it at home? Okay, no, there it is. Better. Hopefully the whole town doesn't flood. I don't know why Molly ran here. She could have rode in the car with me. She's right. My fairy godmother is here eating ice cream. Fairy godmother, fairy godmother. Oh, hello there, Daisy. I see you're being popular and a cheerleader. Yeah, except for I don't really like my wish. What? No gives these backsies. You have to keep your wish. But fairy godmother, I don't like it. I feel hollow inside. Empty. Not myself. I told you that wishes could go awry. And I truly meant it. Mm, this birthday cake ice cream is delicious. Fairy godmother, listen to me. Whoa, no need to get angry, Daisy. I don't want your wish anymore. I wish that I could go back to being my true, authentic self. Well, I guess I could make an exception this time. But do you promise next time to remember that what we wish for is sometimes not a good thing? What do you mean? I mean, some wishes are wonderful, but when we wish to be something that we're not, not so good. I get what you mean. You're saying, when I wish for something like to help a hurt puppy, or to be a better person, or to dream big, those are all great things. Correct! But when I wish to be something I'm not, then all it does is make me feel sad and hollow on the inside. Absolutely, Daisy. You should be exactly who you are, okay? I learned my lesson, fairy godmother. You're a very good teacher, by the way. Oh, thank you. Um, you can make it up to me by getting me a vanilla ice cream. <laughs> we'll see, fairy godmother. I'm not sure I have enough money. Okay, well, go ahead and make your wish. I wish that I could be back to myself as soon as possible, please. Well, let's just make sure I'm really back to myself. I'm going to try to do a cheerleading move. Here I go. Oh, ouch, I hurt myself. Ow. Well, the good news is, is you're back to yourself. The bad news is, is I need to go to the school nurse. Ow. Well, my job here is done. <laughs> Daisy, how'd you get here so quick? Because, Molly, I took the car. I didn't run the whole way, duh. Where's the fairy godmother? Was she not here? Is she not eating ice cream? Was I wrong? No, she was eating ice cream, Molly. Do you notice anything different about me? Um. Whoa! You're back to your nerdy self! That's right, Molly. She took my wish back. Did you ask for the million dollar wish? No, Molly, I didn't. Daisy, why not? We could be rich. We'd never have to go to school again. We could be on vacation forever. Molly, you should never wish for something that you don't want. I do want a million dollars, Daisy. What were you thinking? Um, uh, your time's up on this limo. Uh, you guys owe me a million dollars. What? What? <laughs> Just kidding. It's a thousand dollars. Uh, pay up, please. Daisy, wouldn't that million dollars come in handy right now? Uh, yeah, you do have a point. Daisy!
this Brookhaven mini-movie, Molly's crush Luke asks Brookie to the prom. But will Molly be so jealous she loses her friendship with Brookie forever? Watch to the end of this crazy video to find out. And guys, don't forget to slam that like button and comment below. We read all of your comments, guys. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I'm late for English class! Oh man! Good morning, Molly. Nice of you to join us. Sorry I'm late. Sorry, 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 sorry. I, I didn't mean to be. I just kind of overslept again. Molly, you're always oversleeping. I know, I can't help it. I just like to sleep. Kind of more than I like school. Okay, class. Well, you guys are the only ones here today. What? Did everybody oversleep? No, it seems that there's a stomach bug going around and you two are the only one that didn't catch it. Oh man, I kind of wish I didn't catch it because I don't want to be at school right now. Um, uh, Molly, that sounds like a horrible thing to say because if you had the stomach flu, you would feel awful. Well, I feel pretty awful having to be in this English class right now. <laughs> When's lunch? Molly, shh. You don't want to get detention. Remember what today is? Oh, yeah, Brookie. OMG, we're going to go shopping at the mall for the prom. That's right. It's going to be so much fun. I can't wait to pick out my dress with you. Yeah, me either. Okay, girls, enough conversation about the prom. We're going to take a test. What? A test? You say that like it's some big surprise. Like it's going to be amazing. It is going to be amazing because you studied, right, Molly? Uh, eh, well, uh, Molly, you knew we were having a test today. Uh-oh, I have the hiccups. Okay, I'm going to give you the test and then I have to go out to the water fountain and get a drink. Oh my gosh. I think the teacher is here to the school nurse. Bye, Mrs. Smith. Oh. No cheating, you two. Molly, did you hear that? We are the only ones here because everyone has a stomach bug. I know, it's crazy, right? And this teacher still gave us a test. Well, we better get started on it, Molly. Yeah, guess you're right. We'll talk about what we want our prom dress to look like afterwards. Good idea, Molly, good idea. <sighs> I want my prom dress to be beautiful and maybe sparkly too. Molly, focus on this test. Focus on this test. My dress is going to be so beautiful. It, it, it's going to be the most beautiful dress at the entire prom. I can just see it now. And now announcing the beautiful prom queen, Molly. Give it up for Molly. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Oh my gosh, I have the most beautiful prom dress and I'm prom queen. This night couldn't get any better. Ah, I'm so happy. Molly, Molly, it's time to hand in your test. Molly, are you daydreaming? Who? Oh, me, me? Oh, no, 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 I wasn't. Molly, it doesn't look like you've completed half the test, but the time is up. I'm sorry, I, I was... Molly, you've got to stop doing this daydreaming thing. I've given you more than enough time to complete the test. Please hand it in. Uh-oh, this isn't going to be good. Okay, guys, I'm going to grade your tests. I'd like you to st sit quietly at your desk and read, please. Molly, what book are you reading for this class? I'm reading um the, the, uh, the Hobbit series. Me too, Molly, it's amazing right? Yeah, I just gotta pull it out of my backpack. Where did it go? Okay, I have so much stuff in my backpack. Like, I don't even know where my books are. Well, you have like a million snacks. Why do you have so many snacks? Because a girl's gotta be eating snacks when she's hungry. That's why. Oh, boy, Molly. You and your stomach. Brookie. Yeah, Molly? I think I might have failed this test. Oh, no, Molly. Okay, everybody. The tests are done. Well, just the two of you. <gasps> oh, no. Don't tell me I have the hiccups again. Oh. Okay, well, let me just make this quick. Brookie, you got a 95. Woohoo! Awesome! And Molly, you got a 60. You failed. You have to stay after class for detention because I need to help you. What? No, I, I have plans. I can't. <gasps> Sorry, Molly. I have to go to the water fountain again. I have <gasps> hiccups. Brookie, I can't go to the mall with you. I'm sorry, Molly, but maybe um, we could pick out our prom dresses together next year. Yeah. I guess. Oh my gosh, I love the mall. Okay, the first thing I need to do is find the most beautiful prom dress on the entire planet. Whoa, this store has a stage as a dressing room. This is super cool. It makes me feel like a star. Okay, time to try on prom dresses. Ooh, this one's really pretty. I really like this one, but what about this one? Ooh. Ooh, also beautiful. The shoes and accessories are so awesome. But I think my favorite of all is this one. Oh my 
gosh, I'm definitely gonna win prom queen in this one. Ugh, I'm starving. I'll just wear my prom dress over to the food court and get something delicious. Luke, is that you? Brookie, what, what are you doing here? Oh, hey. Um, well, I was just getting my dress for prom. Holy guacamole! You look beautiful in that dress. Oh, thank you. It's my favorite one that I tried on. Well, well, you just look like so amazing, like, like you're gonna win prom queen. <laughs> Thanks. I don't know if I'll win prom queen, but I hope so. Yeah, you definitely are. Hey, um, I have a question. Um, wasn't sure who I was gonna ask to prom, but you're here and we're friends, and d do you have a date? Me? Oh, no, I... I didn't have anyone ask me yet. Oh, well, that's kind of perfect because I was thinking since we're friends, we could go to prom together. Really? Finally, I'm out of attention. Hopefully, I made it to the mall in time in order to pick out prom dresses with Brookie. What? What's she doing in the food court with Luke? I'd love to go to prom with you, Luke. I think it would be so much fun. Wait, what? They're going to prom together? Well, we have to pick out matching stuff. Like, you have this beautiful red dress, and I should wear, like, a, a tuxedo with a red tie. Is she wearing my prom dress of my dreams? What? No! This, this, she's, she's going with Luke, my crush? That's not even right. She's my best friend. Why would she do that to me? Exactly, Luke. We should totally wear matching outfits since we're going to the prom together. O-M-G! Ah! Molly, was that you? Molly! Can't believe Brookie. So rude that she's going to the prom with my, my, my love of my life! This has been the worst day ever. I just need to eat some ice cream. That'll make me feel better. It's gonna be a double scoop ice cream too. I don't even care. I'm just gonna eat it and feel sorry for myself. <laughs> Can't believe she's taking Luke to the prom. It's so rude. Daisy, I don't know why you always forget your key. Good grief. I have to let her in like every day because she always forgets her house key. <gasps> it's not Daisy, it's Brookie. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the lights. I'm gonna pretend I'm not here. I don't wanna talk to her. Rude. She's not even like my friend anymore. I just don't even like her anymore. Molly, are you home? I thought I heard you yelling at the mall and, 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 and I was wondering, are you okay? Molly? Oh well, I guess she's not home yet. Well... Maybe I'll go down somewhere to the park or something. I'm just gonna go to the park. Maybe she won't bother me there since she's like stalking my house. Yes, the park! Oh no, it's Brookie. Okay, maybe if I just walk away really quietly, she won't even know I'm here. Molly, is that you? Molly! Oh man. Hey Molly, I was worried about you. I thought I heard you yelling at the mall earlier. What? No, that wasn't me. Molly, I saw you. Huh? No, it wasn't. I tried to go by your house, but no one was there. Are you okay? Yeah, I guess I'm fine. Whatever. Molly, you're acting really grumpy. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong, okay? Nothing. Um, Molly, it looks like your smile isn't even really genuine. Tell me what's really going on. I'm your friend. I don't have anything going on, okay? All right. Um, fine. Let, let's just play hide and seek, okay? That sounds like so much fun. You can hide first. Go ahead, Brookie. I'm gonna go count. Okay, Molly. One, two, three. Goodbye. Maybe now she'll be gone for a long time. And I don't have to deal with her following me everywhere. <laughs> she She'll never think to look in here. Ooh, it's kind of stinky. I hope she finds me quickly. <laughs> uh, is that a rotten banana? Ew! Ugh, what is taking Molly so long? Must be I found a really good hiding space here. She's just not finding me. Ugh, so smelly down here. Come on, Molly, find me. I can't believe it, Brittany. I can't believe it, Brittany. He asked Hannah to the prom. I'm heartbroken. I know what you mean, Stacy. I know what you mean. I really feel this show, Brooke High. I feel it in my soul. <laughs> it's not fair. It's not fair that Brookie got as of the prom. By the love of my life. Seriously? Could my day be any worse? <laughs> I'm just, I'm gonna eat some ice cream now. I'm gonna eat some ice cream too. Mm. Okay, that kind of makes me feel better. Well, I might as well get comfy since it seems like Molly's taking forever to find me. Huh, it feels like it's been like three hours. Is she ever gonna find me in here? Uh, let's see, I've got to try to remember my locker combination and I always forget it. Hey, Brookie, good morning. I've been thinking about prom all night. Me too. Luke, this is going to be so much fun. 
What? Seriously? They have to talk about this right outside my locker? I know. It's going to be a blast. And I just want to let you know I got my tux last night, so my tie matches your dress. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, that's amazing. And I'm also going to get you a beautiful flower corsage. And I was thinking I could make it red and white. What do you think? That sounds amazing. I'm also going to get you a boutonniere, so I'll make it match. Great. Do you like roses? Does she like roses? Ooh. I don't think she likes flowers. Yeah, I love flowers, Luke. Whatever. Well, we better get to class. Brookie, this is going to be so much fun. I couldn't agree more, Luke. Oh my gosh, we're going to prom. This is going to be so cool. Well, I better get to math class. Better get to math class. I better steal my friend's boyfriend. <laughs> well, I better get to math class myself before the teacher gets there. Hey, Molly, good morning. Yeah, whatever. Molly, why are you talking like that? Because I said I don't want to have a conversation. Um, Molly, you never said that. Well, just turn around and don't talk to me. Molly, what's gotten into you, Molly? You just left me hiding for hours yesterday. By the way, I picked a really good spot. It was in a dumpster, but it took me like an hour to wash the rotten banana smell out of my hair. Whatever. Maybe you belonged in the dumpster. What? What's come over you, Molly? Is this some sort of prank? No, it's not a prank. I just I don't like you anymore. You're, you're not my best friend anymore. Molly, wh why are you saying that? That's that's really mean. Well, maybe you're really mean, so I don't want to be your friend anymore. From this point on, we are nothing. We're not friends. We're nothing. Molly. Okay, fine. <laughs> Molly, what has gotten into you? What's gotten into me? What's gotten into you, Luke? Molly, are you feeling okay? Did you get a bonk on your head? Bookie's been your best friend since you were little. You're just not going to be your friend anymore, and you're not even going to tell her why? I guess I just, I feel... I feel really mad. Well, don't tell me, Molly. Go tell your friend what she did so you guys can make up. This is just wrong. Yeah, I guess you're right. I probably should go tell her. Okay. Whoa, 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 Molly. <laughs> Be careful running into the math teacher. You're late. Detention, Mr. Smith. Oh, very funny, Molly. Only kids can get detention for being late, not teachers. Well, that doesn't seem fair. Molly, get back here. I have to go to the bathroom. Okay, make it quick. What am I going to say to Brookie? What am I going to say? What am I going to say? What am I going to say? Okay, I'll just be honest. I'll just be honest with her. Brookie? Go away, Molly. You're the meanest person ever. Brookie, oh my gosh. Okay, I was really harsh. I'm s I'm sorry, but I have a reason. I'm very mad right now, and my feelings are really hurt. Talking about having hurt feelings, you don't want to be my friend anymore. Brookie, okay, I'm just going to be honest with you. You decided to go to the prom with Luke, and I'm really upset about it. What? What are you talking about? You you don't know that I have a crush on Luke? Not really, Molly, but um Luke and I just decided to go because no one else asked us and well, we didn't want to go alone, so we thought we'd go as friends. But but Luke is my crush. He can't go to the prom with you. He's supposed to go to the prom with me. Oh my gosh, Molly, I I didn't know. I'm sorry. I already said yes. But you could ride in the limos with us and we just go as friends. Really? Yeah, Molly. Why didn't you talk to me about this? I guess I just felt so jealous. I wasn't thinking straight. I'm so sorry, Brookie. I'd understand if you didn't want to be my friend ever again. Well, Molly, what you said to me really hurt my feelings. I know. Probably don't want to be my friend anymore, right? Um, that's not true at all, Molly. You're still my best friend. Really? You'll forgive me? Of course I will, Molly, but you should talk to me before you just go crazy. I mean, I'm not that horrible. I I would have understood. Okay, I'm sorry. I was just really, really jealous. Molly, if you had told me Luke was your crush, I totally would have said no to going to the prom with him. But come on, we could all go together. Are you sure Luke wants to do that? Molly, I think we both know he has a crush on you. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm not joking, Molly. He talks about you all the time. Really? Yeah, Molly. Come on, we'll go tell him that we're gonna all go to prom together. Let's see his reaction. Brookie, are you sure you forgive me? Of course I do, Molly. Everybody makes a mistake. Thanks, Brookie. You really are my best friend. And you're mine, Molly. Now come on, let's go talk to him. Oh, nice of you to join us, Molly. Uh, yeah, sure, Mr. Smith. Hey, Luke. Would you be cool if Molly came along with us to prom in the limo and stuff? Would I ever? That'd be amazing. Molly, we could all go as friends or whatever. Yeah, or whatever. Or whatever.
Uh, roll over. You're snoring so loud. Huh? What? Uh, sorry. Laura, seriously, why are you snoring so loud? Ugh, I never met a girl who could snore as loud as you can. Uh, sorry. Ugh, my stomach is just really hurting. Oh, you probably have to fart. Just go back to sleep. Oh, I think I have to go to the bathroom. Ugh, I don't feel so good. Oh, I hope you're gonna be okay. Thanks, Dan. Ugh. Ugh, I'm definitely gonna throw up. Ugh. Blech. Ugh, gross. I hate throwing up. Blech. Ugh, I don't feel so good. Laura, are you okay in there? Are you throwing up? Blech. Oh, she definitely got the stomach bug. Gross. Laura, it's okay. I'll bring you the Pepto-Bismol. Poor thing. Aw, I'll be right there. I mixed it with some ice cream so it tastes better, because Pepto-Bismol tastes awful. Laura, can I come in? Okay, you didn't answer. Here I come. <laughs> Laura? Oh my gosh, what happened? Laura? Are you alive? <laughs> okay, yeah, she's alive. She's moaning. Oh my gosh, she fainted. Okay, I'm calling 911. 911, what's your emergency? My wife, she was puking a lot, and I went to make her an ice cream pe Pepto Bismol smoothie, and when I came back, she was laying on the floor. She had passed out. I thought she was dead, but no, she moaned, so she's not dead. Okay, first of all, you should never feed someone ice cream and Pepto Bismol when they don't feel good. Okay, yeah, but who cares about that? Second of all, I have dispatched a ambulance to your house. We know exactly where your cell phone location is. <laughs> it's so crazy, right? Technology. Are you going to be here soon? I'm really worried. Yes, we'll be there soon. Laura, everything's going to be okay, I promise. The paramedics are on their way. Uh, 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 I think she may have thrown up way too many times. I'm not really sure, though, what's going on. I hope she doesn't die. I love her a whole lot. Except for when she snores so bad in bed. Okay, sir. Everything's going to be fine. Hello, paramedic! Oh my gosh! You guys got here so quick! Oh my! Okay, let's see what the trouble is. Ma'am, can you hear me? Ma'am? Oh, I can hear you. My stomach just hurts and then I got really dizzy. Oh, wow, ma'am. Well, I'm going to put you on the stretcher and take you in the ambulance to the hospital, okay? Do you remember your name? Yeah, it's Laura. Okay, Laura. Everything's going to be okay. All right, sir. Uh, you might want to get off the stretcher. Sorry, I'm just really nervous and kind of tired. I'll go out here and wait. Dan, why are you getting on my stretcher? Sorry. <laughs> Oops. All right, Laura. I'm just going to put you on the stretcher now. Everything's going to be okay. You're the nicest paramedic ever. Thank you so much. No problem, honey. Everything's going to be all right. Let's go get you into the ambulance. Would you like to come along, husband? Absolutely. Uh, I'll even go in my pajamas. I don't care. I don't know what happened. I, I was fine. I was sleeping and my husband woke me up and said, you're snoring too loud. And my stomach got upset and I ran into the bathroom to throw up and I fainted. It's okay, ma'am. We're going to take you to the hospital and they'll find out what's going on. We, we didn't pick up my husband. He'll have to meet us there. This is an emergency. Laura, are you still with me? Yeah, I'm just feeling really faint again. Oh, and my stomach really hurts. It's going to be okay, honey. I'm going to take good care of you. Come on. Let's you get, to you, get you into a room so a doctor can see you. Hi there, Laura, is it? Yeah, I, I, I don't feel very good. Well, I'm Dr. Nickenbacher, and I will be taking care of you today. I just want my husband. Is he here yet? Uh, he should be on his way. I'm right here, honey. Sorry, you guys left without me. I just had to get my slippers. I came as soon as I could. I ran the whole way. You didn't take the car? Well, I mean, I ran to the car, and then I ran from the car to the emergency room door. That's what I meant. <laughs> I'm way too lazy to run all the way to the hospital. You know that. Yeah, I know. Oh, my stomach. Well, the first thing I think we should do with your wife is get an x-ray of her entire body because we have no idea what's going on most especially her brain and her stomach since she fainted and her stomach hurts that sounds like a good plan i'm so worried about her all right i'll send in a stretcher for you and i'll meet you in the x-ray room oh this won't hurt will it 
No, x-rays are painless, although they can be a little noisy. How long will this take? Um, well, if I don't hit myself with the door. <laughs> About till right now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, wow. Um, that's an interesting find. What? What is it? Am I dying? I'm going to send in the nurse to bring you back on the stretcher, and we'll have this conversation with your husband. Really? Really? I'm going to die, aren't I? That's why he needs to be there. Uh, I wouldn't say that. I'll see you back in your room, Laura. What is it? What's happening? Let's wait for your wife to get back. This is the type of news I want to tell you together. Oh my god, she's dying! I knew it! Just calm down, Mr. Smith. Everything's going to be okay. Okay, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, I reviewed your wife's x-rays, and this is going to come as a bit of a shock to you. I knew it! She's dying! I don't know how I'll ever say goodbye to you, Dan. Okay, Mr. and Mrs. Dramatic, she's not dying. She's actually, well, pregnant. Wait, what? Pregnant? Oh my gosh, I can't believe it! This is a little shocking and crazy. Yeah, and the crazy part is, is you guys are having, um, triplets. Triplets? What? Oh! Mr. Smith? Now you're the one that fainted. Mr. Smith, are you okay? Okay, I just need a minute here on the floor to just catch my breath. Okay, are you okay, Mrs. Smith? I, I can't believe it. Pregnant with triplets? When, when am I due? When am I going to have my baby? Babies! <laughs> I mean, I still have to have, like, a baby shower and get cribs and, well, that's just the thing. I've never seen this before in my career as a doctor, but you're going to give birth any minute. Wait, what? Okay, I'm just going to stay down here on the floor because I can't move. I... <sighs> Dan, I need your support! I can't believe it. I'm going to... Ah! My stomach hurts! Ah! Okay, honey. We got this. I mean, right? We do have this, right? You guys totally got it. Let me go put my iPad down. Sounds like I'm going to deliver three little babies. I've never seen this in my career before. This is going to be crazy! All right, let me change into my scrubs. What an amazing day this is going to be. Okay, let's do this. Wait, you you already had one of the babies? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it was crazy. Oh, you didn't wait for me. Oh, I wanted to deliver the baby. Okay, well, she had one. What do you want me to say? Oh, but here comes another. Here, Dan, hold the first baby. What am I supposed to do with it? Just be nice to her while I deliver baby number two. Okay, Laura, deep breath. Doctor, why are you laying down? Sorry, it's been a long shift. I didn't mean to lay down. Are you sleeping standing up? I don't know if I really am okay with you delivering these babies right now. You're being a little crazy. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me just lay down for a minute. Okay, I'm good. I took a one-minute nap, so I'm fine. All right, let's deliver that second baby. Great job, Laura. She's beautiful. Okay, choose enough. We don't need the third one. She, can, she doesn't have to come. She can stay. Sorry, that's not the way it works, Mr. Smith. You're having three babies. Oh, she's adorable. Hi, sweet little girl. I know. Mine's adorable, too. They're both adorable, and we still have one more. I'm going to be poor. I'm totally going to be poor. Three girls? Trips to the malls? Oh, my gosh. I'm done for. Hi, Dr. Nickenbacker. What can I do for you? Whoa! You have twins? No, identical triplets. Oh my gosh! Okay, take the second baby because Laura's about to have the third. Okay, no problem. All right, Laura, deep breath. Are you seriously laying down again? Sorry, I'm just really tired. This is like a lot of excitement. I am a really good doctor though, I promise. Well then stand up and help me give birth to this baby! Okay, yeah, yeah, sorry. All right, you're doing great, Laura. Oh my gosh, honey. You had three babies! Get out of my bed, Dr. Knickerbocker! <sighs> okay, well, my shift's just about over, and these babies look adorable and healthy. Congratulations! 
Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Today has been the craziest day of my entire existence. Tell me about it. But look at our adorable babies. Oh, so sweet. Now all we have to decide is what we're going to name them. Hey guys, if you have names that would be perfect for our trip list, let us know in the comment section below because Laura and I have to come up with three adorable names for our sweet little girls. And we want to know what you guys would name your triplets. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye guys! Oh, it's been such a long day. But look at the beautiful babies I got out of it. <laughs> I'm so happy. Good morning, everyone. Today, we're going to be working on some fractions. I know you guys are a little bit scared. Whoa, I can't write today. <laughs> I spelled it wrong. I know you guys are a little afraid of fractions. They seem really hard, but don't worry. I'm going to help you through it. And everyone will know how to do fractions by the end of the school year, okay? Jiminy Cricket, what was that? Was that thunder? It's probably some freak storm and, you know, we are going to all be doomed. Wow, Molly, could you be any more dramatic? Well, no, not really. But anyway, I'm just kidding because I saw the weather and it's supposed to be like blue skies and sunny today. Well, maybe the weather people were wrong. They seem to never know what the weather is going to be. Well, that's true. I don't know where there is lately. Are they letting every meteorologist pass college or something? Must be. But well, maybe it's just hard to guess. I don't know. But they have equipment to help them. I'm going to look outside and see if there's any storms going on. It looks like there's some dark clouds coming from over there, teacher. Maybe we should all have early dismissal. Nice try, Molly. But there's no early dismissal today. We're going to be learning about fractions. Now, the first thing you need to know... Um, I have a question. Um, it's starting to look really dark outside. I think we're going to get a storm. Uh, and it looks like an angry one. What? Oh, I I didn't think we were supposed to get the storm that's, that's hitting Blocksburg. They're getting a terrible, terrible hurricane. Oh my, this does look like the hurricane's actually going to hit us. Oh boy, I better get inside and check out the weather station and see what it says. Um, teacher, I, I really don't think it's a good idea we stay here. Well, if the hurricane's hitting... We can't leave either. It can be dangerous. The roads will be flooded for sure. Let me just tune into the weather station on my iPad. Breaking news, breaking news. The hurricane that hit Blocksburg is now hitting Brookhaven too. Stay put. I repeat, do not drive. Do not go outside your house. This hurricane is extremely dangerous. You should lock down exactly where you are. Oh my, this isn't good. Stuck in this school? Oh, we don't even have sleeping bags or pajamas or anything. Oh! Uh, anybody else notice our teacher is totally freaking out right now? Well, Molly, in her defense, hurricanes can be incredibly dangerous. Well, I guess we're not learning about fractions today. We're learning a lot about hurricanes, though. Um, uh, Molly, I'm kind of nervous. I don't like big storms. Well, then why are you smiling? Um, because I smile a lot when I'm nervous. It's sort of this thing I have where I just, I, 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 I also giggle a lot when I'm nervous. <laughs> Oh, I never knew about this about you, Brookie. But that's because you've never seen her this nervous. <laughs> We're all going to die in a hurricane. <laughs> oh, this is so lame. Brookie, are you okay? You have no face right now. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. That's why. O-M-G. Okay, Brookie's gone insane. Molly, maybe we should go outside and, you know, check and see if the weather's really bad. Okay, I'll be the one to do it because I'm the most brave. Here we go. Oh, the sky is red. Uh, I've never seen it do that before. Oh my God, this is creepy. Oh yeah, the rain is coming and the, and the wind. What? Did I just see lightning? Oh my gosh, I did just see lightning and now the sky is purple. I better get back inside. Daisy, what are you doing? I'm taking measurements. I've never seen a storm like this in my life. Like guacamole, Daisy. We better get inside. This is dangerous out here. Yeah, yeah. 
Wait a minute, why are you so tall all of a sudden? I had a growth spurt. <laughs> when are you gonna catch up? You seem so short lately. Holy moly. Um, teacher, teacher! There's a lot of lightning, a lot of rain, a lot of wind, and the sky is purple and red. Oh my gosh! <laughs> we really are gonna die! Nobody panic, nobody panic. I don't think it's safe for us to be near these windows though. We're all gonna move into the gym since it's more centrally located inside the school and we'll start setting up to spend the night there. Um, is there anything to eat because I'm starting to get hungry? Yes, I'll go to the cafeteria and pick up some supplies. You guys head to the gym and I'll meet you there. On second thought, look at all these windows to the outside. This is probably more dangerous than I thought. Are you like trained at all for disasters? O-M-G. Yes, I'm just a little bit nervous, okay? This is my first year as a teacher and I didn't expect to be stuck in a hurricane. It's okay. Um, just, just, um, basically take us to the auditorium and everything will be okay because there's no windows in there. Oh, Daisy, what would I do without you? You're the best student ever. Come on, everyone, to the auditorium. Okay, everyone file in, please. Single file, no pushing. I'm just gonna pull up the weather channel again and see if there's any updates. Breaking news, breaking news. Everyone, panic! This is the worst hurricane Brookhaven has ever seen! Everything's flooded. Oh, make sure you get to high ground, but stay inside. Make sure you have enough food, but don't go to the grocery store. Make sure you get enough sleep and take care of yourself, but don't close your eyes. You never know what's gonna happen next. Okay, we're turning off the iPad. That's just freaking me out. All right, everyone. I did find some uh, sleeping bags in the supply room. Must be they were there for emergencies. So I'm gonna spread everyone's sleeping bag out up here on the stage. And this will be where we sleep tonight. And I also brought some snacks. Brookie, are you still freaking out? I'm, I'm sort of hyperventilating. Brookie, it's gonna be okay. Everyone's safe. Just think of this as a really interesting sleepover. I mean, we had to invite, invite Sarah, but you know. Whatever, like I'd ever come to a loser sleepover anyway. Well, Sarah, we'd probably invite you even if you didn't want to come, just because we're nice like that. Well, I'm not nice like that, and I probably wouldn't come. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it, and we're in a hurricane. Yeah, but we're also having an amazing sleepover. According to this little instrument that I found in the science room that's supposed to measure the weather, but I'm not a meteorologist, so I don't know what it's called. What? You don't know what it's called? Daisy, I can't even believe this right now. Uh, yeah, I feel a little, um, sad in myself that I don't know what this meteorologist equipment is. I'll, I'll make notes and have to look this up when I get home. But anyway, according to that, the worst of the storm is happening right now. Ah, uh, you could say that. There are actually some windows backstage, and I did see some lightning. What? The teacher told us that, 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 that there was no windows in here. Well, it's the spot that's the least windows, Bookie, and the most protected. Don't worry, everything's gonna be okay. I don't believe you! I'm starting to freak out, and now I really just wanna cry. Bookie, I promise everything's gonna be okay. Your best friend is right here. Okay, everybody, I brought some food. Bean burritos, tacos. Do you guys like Mexican food? Oh my gosh, I love Mexican food. Oh no! It's gonna be terrible! What, the storm? No, you, after you eat that bean burrito. Oh yeah, we don't wanna feed Molly a bean burrito. Too late. Mm, this is actually quite delicious. Mm, this is so good. <coughs> oh my God, Molly's farting already. She just took the first bite of a bean burrito. <coughs> Uh, I think I'd rather be out in the hurricane. What? It's not that bad. <coughs> Molly, you fought it ten times in the last five seconds. <coughs> Ew, Molly! That stinks so bad. Where's my gas mask? <laughs> I think there's an emergency in the gym. I mean, in the auditorium. Wait, where are we again? Brookie, you're still freaking out right now. It's gonna be okay, Brookie, I promise. And I have an extra bean burrito that I'm gonna eat. <coughs> Molly, please don't. <coughs> Molly! No more bean burritos for Molly. She's sworn to not eat anymore. Okay, class. I want everyone to get into their sleeping bags. Molly, no more bean burritos. Seriously. We all have to actually sleep in here. <laughs> Can't believe we're sleeping in the auditorium at school. This is so weird. Yeah. 
But I think the storm is starting to pass now. I think you're right, class, but I think you should stay here for the night just to be safe. <sighs> I'm getting tired anyway. This was kind of stressful. I know what you mean. <laughs> this dress makes me laugh. Did I tell you that yet? Yes, like so many times. You're so annoying. I know. I'm sorry. I just can't help it. Sarah, she's not annoying. She's my best friend and she can't help it. She's just scared. Yeah, I think we all will. But in the morning, we'll go home and hopefully everything will be fine. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Hey, Dad, um, why are we leaving for spring break uh, road trip in the middle of the night? Because I've been waiting for your mother for four hours. She thinks she needs to pack our entire house to go on this trip. Well, I sort of understand. You need to have all sorts of different fashionable outfits. Daisy, we're going to be out in the wilderness. No one's going to care what you're wearing. I care. I have to look beautiful at all times. Ay, ay, ay. Being the dad to girls is just crazy sometimes. Okay, I'm finally ready. <laughs> um, there's just a lot of luggage inside that needs to be put into the camper van. Of course there is. Okay, girls, come on, let's get in the van. I've got to load all this luggage and then we can finally leave. <laughs> this is going to be amazing. A spring break road trip. Oh, Molly, I'm so excited, too. Your dad and I have wanted to do this for so long. Okay, family, let's go! Dad, remember, you haven't driven one of these big vehicles before, so be careful. Uh, last time I checked, I'm an awesome driver. Uh-huh, sure you are, honey. Sure you are. What? I am. I think I'm a great driver. No one thinks I'm a good driver? You're okay, Dad. We, we trust you. Sort of. <laughs> What's this sign say? Mountain peaks and lakes. Um, ooh, canyons and volcano. Let's go that way. Dad, do we even have a plan for this vacation? Absolutely not. We're just out on the open road, seeing where we should go. And today, I feel like we should go to the canyons. Uh, did anybody just see what I saw? I think it might be a... A bear! Oh my gosh! Okay, everybody stay inside the vehicle! Dad, back up! The bear's gonna eat us! Um, can a bear get in here? Yes, actually, a bear can put a, put a car like a tin can. It's it's pretty easy for a bear to get inside your car. Drive faster then! Oh my god, Dad, you wrecked the car? Okay, spring break is not going good, seriously. Honey, don't go back that way! That's where the bear is! Sorry, I have to turn around. This this bridge is kind of slippery. Well, it's slippery? It, it's not snowing. Okay, yeah, I just ran into the bridge, I know. But I'm sorry, okay? I'm trying to get away from the bear, and I'm a little nervous. Um, I just so you know, I am not camping outside. I'm not even getting out of this car. Nope, nope, nope. I think that might be a good idea. Maybe we'll sleep in here tonight, and then tomorrow we'll set up camp. Because who knows how many more bears there are out here. Whoa. Would you look at this at night? The canyons are amazing. Amazing, except, except for the bear and almost drowning in the pond or lake or river or whatever that was. It's so dark I couldn't even see. Whoa, I think Dad's right. This is super cool. I'm glad we came here at night. Okay, don't crash us again, Dad. <laughs> Whoa, oh wow, there's a big ravine over there. Probably shouldn't go over there. Uh, yeah, you, you should definitely just keep going up the canyon, Dad. This is some crazy spring break road trip, right guys? Um, let's see, we almost got mauled by a bear. We almost got in a giant car accident. And now it's raining as we're going up this treacherous hill? Uh, yeah, I would say it's definitely been pretty cray cray. Oh God, there's another bear! Uh, isn't that supposed to be where we're camping? Yes, um, and the bear, oh, uh, it's coming right for us. I don't think I can back down this canyon. Okay, let's just try to avoid him. He'll probably leave us alone, right? Um, maybe? Uh, don't anyone get out of the car. Stay inside the camper van. Uh, the bear will eventually leave. I'm not afraid of the bear. I'll go right up to him and be like, bear, get lost. Go on, bear, get, get, get. Molly, what are you doing? Get back in the van. He's so fat and slow. 
Look how long it's taking him to even walk over here. Hey, you need to go the other... Get! Get! Molly, that's a really bad idea! Ow, he bit me! You real bear! Ow! 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 The bear's chasing me! Okay, yeah, I think I should have stayed in the van! Holy guacamole! <laughs> oh my gosh! Are you okay, Molly? Yeah, I just took a little nibble out of me. This bear is rude! These bears here are rude! What are we thinking coming on this trip? Um, I think it's gonna be better tomorrow. I hope. Let's, uh, just try to get some shut eye. With the bear trying to stick his head in my window? I'm not gonna sleep a wink. OMG, this bear is still bugging us! Uh, yeah, and, um, guys, don't look now, but there's a tornado coming our way! What? Um, honey, I would suggest driving super fast! Okay, uh, I'll try to get down into the canyon. That may be. The, the bear will be gone, and, and the tornado won't follow us. Ah, uh, great idea, this spring break trip. Uh, yeah, couldn't think of a better thing to do on my spring break than almost die! Honey, um, just try to drive as safe as possible. You want me to drive fast? You want me to drive safe? Which one do you want? Okay, I think, I think the tornado is passed. I wouldn't be so sure about that. We'll know more once we get around this corner. Uh, no, but it's definitely where we just were, so it's probably good that we actually left there. Okay, well, let me see if I can keep driving us somewhere safe. That cave looks pretty safe. How about in there? Yeah, we can ride out the storm in here. Oh my gosh, this has been the craziest vacation ever. I saw on the map that there's a spa nearby. I want to go to the spa. I want to go to the spa. The spa? But look at the great outdoors. It's so beautiful. Yeah, with the bears and the tornadoes. I need the spa. I need it. Wow, this place looks amazing. Yeah, <laughs> this is my kind of spring break. Where's your guys' sense of adventure? Adventure? <laughs> I see what adventure gets us. Bears chasing me and biting me. No, thank you. I would like something delicious to drink and eat. And wait a minute, is that a hot tub? Ooh, yes, please. Ah, that feels amazing. Now, this is what I'm talking about. A little rest and relaxation. Right, Dan? Yeah. Guess. Oh, Dan, are you sad? Yeah, I wanted to have a great outdoors adventure. Well, this is outdoors, Dad, and it's a pretty great adventure. Look at this water slide. Whee! <laughs> <Whoa! laughs> hey, uh, what? There was a bear in there. Oh my God, are you kidding me? There's a bear going down the water slide. Actually, the bear is trying to climb up the water slide. He's too fat. Why is he going up the water slide? My guess is to eat you, Molly. Oh my gosh. Look, there's a bear in the water slide. <laughs> this has been the craziest vacation ever. Can we still camp out in tents? But Dan, there's a nice hotel right here. I don't want to stay in the hotel. I wanted this to be really amazing. Okay, well, yes, I guess we can still sleep in a tent. So I guess you can promise me that the bear isn't going to eat us. I think he might be too busy being stuck in the water slide. So I don't think we have to worry about too much. Crazy bear. <laughs> crazy, crazy bear. Okay, family. Everybody back in the camper. We're going to go find a place to put up our tent. Oh, I just want to stay at the spa. Me too. It's amazing here. But your father is set on having a camping adventure. So let's give him what he wants. Look at this view, Molly. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, um, but it's getting dark, and there's a lot of creepy animals that come out of dark. Don't worry, Molly. They're afraid of fires, so as long as we keep this fire burning, no bears will come to our campsite. Really? Okay, well, I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> I don't like being bit by bears very much. Now, your mom and your sister should be back with more firewood. Uh, Dad? Uh, I think we might have a problem. What? I think this place is perfect. 
It's another tornado! Oh, why can't this vacation just go the way I want to? Honey, I think we should probably pack up and head home. No, we're staying in the tent! Tornado, go away! Uh, Dad, I don't think the tornado listens. And wait a minute, where's Daisy? Help! I'm stuck in the tornado! Oh boy, this is gonna be a vacation to remember.